What's up, bitches? It's Friday night, another edition of Epileptic Gaming hitting the airwaves. We are now on episode 177, and we're just fucking Dude, keep on. The keep best on part going. of that intro has to be your tape, your touch. Yes, Force. I agree. Natal. I love the Dude, Natal. And the girl, like, oh, this dress looks so good on me. And, <laughs> you know, it, it, uh, Natal was on Jimmy Fallon's show. Did you watch week. that whole thing? Uh, I, I didn't watch it the whole was? thing. Yeah, yeah, they, they had him out, and... And it was just funny to hear, like, uh, some other folks talk about it because apparently, because of the stage lighting, it was, like, throwing the Natal off a little bit. So that is why they allegedly were wearing the suits. Now, now, because I read a different story saying Fallon just thought it'd be funny if they all came out wearing see, the same I, gear. I, I mean... Because he thought turtlenecks and jump shoes Well, funny. let's see. If you're Microsoft, you probably don't want, you know, I thought, people are well, I just going to get the wrong idea. And no, let's be honest, dude. Underneath a set like that, there are a fuckload of lights. Kind of so lights. I would completely yeah, understand that concept. But yeah, they, I mean, they kind of like made a joke out of it, obviously. Uh, the but, video, uh, though, I, I wish you would have watched the thing in its entirety so I could hear your impressions of it. Because oh. it did take them a second to get a hang of it, but... They're doing pretty good. Once they ha did, did, they were doing that smack the dodgeball, which I right I, right from Ricochet, what I understand right. is Arkanoid. You know, it's you know right. whatever awesome. breakout. Right. Right. But like breakout, a three D well, version, yeah. one of the guys was doing awesome, and at the last guy lasted forever. And I didn't realize it was John Krasinski off the Office <laughs> that I was watching play it. The, the first real time the real problem is watching Jimmy Fallon and uh, Fallon I is <laughs> terrible, dude. But it's nice that he's supporting games like that in the demo. It was good. I mean, and everyone was jumping in and out, swapping spots with it. Yeah. So, I mean, it yeah. performed a lot better than I thought it was going to. So uh, that was, uh, you know, one major gaming thing this week. Uh, for me, um, and, and I have stayed true to my word, uh, yesterday was a big day because the Call of Duty 5 zo Nazi Zombies map pack came out. Uh, not the regular one, the Nazi zombie one. And I told Force, I'm like, I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to play it till after EG. And I held true to that, despite the fact that Force was like, oh, oh my God, Wheat. Oh, my fucking God, dude. <laughs> it, I, it wasn't even I five minutes like, after downloading it. I was playing that shit, dude. I could not hold dude, myself. And it bums me out, too, because um, Big Surf Island came out for uh, Burnout, and I've been looking forward to it forever. But it's got to come out the same damn day as the yeah, next dude, Nazi, Nazi zombie zombies, map pack. Fuck Nazi zombies. So I had to snag that one first, and holy shit, it's going to be awesome. I mean, fuck like I said, this show's going to feel like it's four hours long. Yeah, dude. Just because I'm so excited to get the Nazi he's zombies so afterwards. so excited to kill Nazi zombies. Oh, it's awesome. Dude. Chinese Nazi zombies I, this time. I, I, I am too. Oh, it's the shit. How the fuck are you a Chinese Nazi zombie? Uh, the, you're no, fighting the Chinese. Japanese. Japanese. Ja God, right. Force, get your Sorry. fucking Asian. Oh, I, should, I, I usually just say Asian. They're Jesus. Japanese. The one time I don't. They're Japanese Nazi zombies. Yeah. Do you find a problem with that statement? No. Japanese fought with the Nazis. They're they're part of the Nazi crew. When I well, look at how their actions are in that not, year, it's just like that's the that's, that's what the it's term. called. That's okay. what the bad guys. Nazi right. zombies are the term. It was, a, it was yeah Nazis versus the U.S. Even though there are all those other countries involved, but, <laughs> but it's awesome. Sorry, I'm talking. And it's like, epic, so guys. Annoying. For those of you, they put a lot of time and effort into this map. I can't believe how huge it is. I'm really surprised. I'm I know. I, I played it so many times wait. to see something different every time. I know my history, and uh, the Japanese were not Nazis. Hopefully next week, yeah, though. they weren't. Next week, I bought extra Nazi points zombies. so I can snag that Big Surf Island, so I might be talking about that next wait, week. Wait, is that the Burnout it. Paradise? Yeah, it's just Isn't supposed to be a huge already? jump city. It came out yesterday, the same yeah, day as okay. the Nazi Zombies. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, gosh, uh, what else? Oh, Prototype came out this week, and that's going to be the yeah. last... It's gonna be the last game that we do in our, you know, sandbox. Uh, uh, I guess <laughs> I, I have an interesting story of making an ass out of myself in public over Prototype. 
because wow. everywhere said prototype came out on six nine. Well, apparently that means it ships on six nine. Right. It doesn't really come out till six ten. Well, I pre-ordered at Hollywood, walked in there, you know, on Tuesday and said. Where's my prototype? Well, we don't have it. We're not getting it today. I'm like, bitch, I pre-ordered it. Everyone else has it. I want my money back. So I had to go through all this rigmarole just to get my $5 back from my pre-order. And, and I was surprised when you told me that, Force, that they they actually did it. That I they mean, gave I, me my 5 bucks I, back? I, I honestly believe if you're at GameStop, and I don't know, Force. No, your or, $5 is not refundable. No way, right? But I, I mean, I argued. And what about gamers? Said. What about like a mom and pop? <laughs> no, dude. No way. No, that 5 bucks like, is usually there. there. Gamers is ri ridiculous. You don't even if you like play a game and it doesn't work and you take it back <laughs> you're stuck with it and you're like I want my money back they're like nope you get in store credit yep yeah but so I'm like storm and I'm like you know if you guys promise me on this day and it's not here I want my money back so she gets a manager gives me my five bucks back only to discover it's not available anywhere in the city I like went to every store it, known it to man wasn't. And it wasn't it wasn't but out force came out with a nice one so at Toys R Us they're selling it for thirty nine bucks but you pay fifty nine bucks. Like normal, yeah, you, you and you a get $20 a twenty dollar gift card, um, which I'm planning on spinning towards right the there. purchase of Ghostbusters coming out next week. So I, I like think, having twenty. I don't bucks know, dude. You game. told me that a lot of people have been playing Ghostbusters early. I've heard a lot of people tell me that it is shit. Really? A lot of people. Of course, dude. It's I, be I was shit, excited dude. to try the multiplayer. I, I'm definitely getting it, no matter what. Whether Everyone's like, oh, you 360 users, ha, 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 you can't play it. Who cares? Dude, I'm actually... You can't play a shitty what, fucking Ghostbusters? game. Ghostbusters? No, yeah. it's out. No, it's coming it's out for 360 for next the... Tuesday. Oh, I thought it's I th Europe. Oh, it's in Europe. Oh, shit. Oh, I, I shit, Ed. I, I thought oh. Ghostbusters was oh, only is. Sony exclusive. In Europe. Oh, in Europe. So guess what they did, though? Shit. What? For the first time, a major <laughs> company put their game out. <laughs> what? <laughs> By the way, Red Faction's the game we're reviewing tonight. So. What are we oh shitting about? Have they made a mistake on a release date? <laughs> no. No, I made it with exclusivity. They, they, you're right. They yeah, didn't like, try to play that exclusivity <laughs> card. And but it, it was, was like, Europe. Face, bitch. But did face. you hear what they did with Dude, Prototype? It like came out with no region. Are we wearing It's like all the European and people can Are import it anyway? the yeah. 360 version because it came out with uh, no I'm just giving you it. shit, at you When's know. The last I, time I heard someone thing. say face, dude. The, exactly. That's, that's like, why it was so awesome. Wearing plaid, like hanging that's out. That's right. You got face. Dude, I was on by Hessian the, Corner. By the anti-exclusive <laughs> argument. So you got faced. That's uh, where talk to the hand comes from. <laughs> it's actually an older phrase. It, it actually face. originated with face. Have you ever heard chin? My brother and I used uh, like instead it was more like that. It was like chin, and he used to, wow. He used to let hate them take it. something like that and turn Dude, it that ultra gay. So gay. gay. They walk up Dude. and rub each other's chin. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You, you, these guys know my brother pretty well, and you gotta promise me the next time you see him. <laughs> I shit will. him, dude. I will shit, shit him. him. And then tell him that his brother told you to do that. I, I will chin him. And then anyway, the next sorry. thing I'll do, I'll walk up and I'll shit. go, balls. <laughs> balls. He wouldn't do that. He's like, how can I take it one step further than we <laughs> yeah. already did? Oh, balls. Jesus I Gotcha, Christ. dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Well, let's stop this. Uh, let's stop this craziness and let's uh, let's do our news of the week. How about that? Okay. Stop it, Ed. <laughs> what? God. What did I do? Well, you just kind of fucked it up. It's okay. I didn't realize that we have to sit in silence while the news of the week fucking... He you don't. It. You don't. Up. You're like, dude, okay, everyone... I was gonna. Quiet. <laughs> I know. It's like it's like eating popcorn before the <laughs> show. Like, you just ruined dude, the I'm whole not, show I'm talking camera, over news of the week. Okay, camera would have muted that shit to make sure that you didn't talk during news of the week. I'm okay. You could have fucking told me what you had for breakfast. I wouldn't have given a fuck. I didn't realize that, dude. I'm sorry. It's like 20 no, seconds. No, you of fucked up because you hit. What? You didn't hit the mute button. Am I supposed to reach over and hit the mute button? Yeah. I just. Okay. Arbitrarily blamed it on you tonight. Yeah, anything bad that happens tonight is now your fault, Ed. It, that's right. It is, dude. It's your night. It's your night. News of the week here on Epilogue to Gaming 177. What is it? The week of like what? June? I don't know. Fucking seventh or something. Yeah. So MMA, you know, has has hit video gaming before, right? We've seen it on the Dreamcast a couple iterations, but it never really caught on. But back then, it's questionable whether MMA had the same following. You know, following. It's specifically UFC. Well. I am absolutely shocked because on May 19th, UFC was released, 
And I mean, I felt like this game was going to do well. Like the demo I wasn't did not horrendous. feel like it was going to do well. Well, did you think it was going to do well, or you didn't think it was going to do this well? I didn't think it was going to do this well. Quarter of All this. Right. Um, so, I mean, I thought it was going to do okay, but, uh, you know, I, that well, I don't know. So, uh, UFC 2009 Undisputed sold over 1 million copies to take NDP's May sales chart. Now, Punch Out was released on the same day and only scored uh, 156,000 copies. That is amazing. Yeah, Especially that when is you think amazing, about install dude. base. That's, like, that's huge. That's only double what Mad World got. I mean, you know what? It's like it's almost like we're entering this era where guess what? Even a Nintendo first party game can't break a Is, million. Isn't doing that great. I mean, unless it's Wii Fit or has Mario in it, I don't know why they bother with anything else nowadays. Well, and it can be argued that, well, they sat on Punch-Out for so long, but fuck, I think even Super Punch-Out, like, made a serious dent in terms of game Yeah, sales. and everyone talking about it, at least purchasing it. The fact that MMA, which I thought was a total niche audience, and the oh, game no is brutally way, difficult, no I think way. I think it's got a steep learning curve. Yeah. Really? And but it's to have not it do a these numbers is these pretty... Days. Oh, I think it is. No way. I don't know dude, anyone who no. watches it but you guys. Honestly. What are you talking dude, about, look at these dude. fucking guys. And these guys, dude, everybody watches. You geeks might, but no, we're dude. a niche ourselves. You're right. No, They're not I was watching, I was watching 50, 10, 000. 11 News yesterday, Yeah, and they had this guy on there who got paralyzed doing MMA fighting in freaking some small town, and they're like, help this MMA fighter. He fell on his head, broke his neck. Now he can't fucking... Moon. So the only time to, you'll see it on the news is when someone's life moon, you know, him like cents here. help him out, dude. Like there. everybody knows what fucking MMA is. Like everybody. I, I don't think agree. so. I don't even think people know what MMA is. Dude, I think I, you'd have to say no, UFC look, before you'd what? say MMA. No. Hey, you know the you know the what? you know the blockbuster downtown on campus. What? You, there's a hair salon next to it, and they have a sign in the window that says no MMA. Okay. Thanks for totally changing actually, the subject. Dude, yeah, that's it. Oh. No, 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 I'm trying to tell you, dude. The, they like don't even fucking bring MMA in our fucking barber shop, douchebags. Oh, like there's no fighting allowed in our because <laughs> all the nail shops are Chinese. I don't know, that, dude. It's just no MMA. But yeah, if I said to my parents, "Do you guys like MMA?" They'd say, "What the hell are you talking about?" If I said, "Do you like UFC?" They'd be like, "No, we don't watch that shit." So well, I don't of know. Of course, I mean because it's getting I think, bigger. I'm not going to lie that it's getting you know, bigger. It's still got ways. I mean to go. that it's that's pretty general. I mean you're right because you could say like, do you like football? And they could go, well, do you mean college or do you mean NFL or do you mean fucking that great XFL league that started a while ago? I, why'd they cancel that anyway? <laughs> you know, versus like I think MMA, like even the hardcore maybe only can give you four or five like consistent leagues. You know, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, no, that's in some unfortunate cases. about the XFL. What it was, was that? The women's it was, was that the women's football? No, that was Vince McMahon's football. Right, league. remember oh. the one that they were going to do drama behind the scenes, and they did have women involved in it. Well, I'm sure they did. They had some TNA. Yeah, that's sure. what fucking sell. God, we're <laughs> not even we're does. not even halfway through the first news item. We're right, really go, doing awesome here. What could be worse <laughs> than selling 156,000 of uh, copies of Punch Out, Ed? Well, perhaps the PS3 exclusive, Infamous, bringing in 175,000 copies. Is sad to think now, that that MMA title outsold Infamous. Now, I, I mean, again, the uh, the Church of PS Theology requires me to say that it was released on May 26th, with me, which meant it only had five days in the month of May to make those sales. Even in June, I think maybe it's looking at about 300000 And that's actually and shocking. And it's sad. I want it to do well because that is a really, really, really well-done title, and I want that company to go on to make more stuff. I think Infamous is a great launching pad for something new. Dude, Dude. Infamous came out later, retards. Look, the father of ps 3 himself is saying, yes, that exact same thing. However, you got to consider that it's only seven days. I do not believe that when we find out in June what the initial Infamous sales are, that it's going to, like... Summa, summa, summa. When you see the final Infamous sales, you're going to look at it and you're going to go... da na 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 <laughs> Dude, I, all I'm <laughs> Too saying, fucking bad, like, dude. That sucks. I'm on your guys' side. Don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, he's but totally pulling I don't, for it to like, fucking I be think right. Based off these numbers, even in a week, because you got to think that that's a game that probably gets most, most of, its, of sales. its sales out of the gate, <laughs> that's a little low. That's all I'm fucking saying. 
prototype will sell better because of multi-platform release, clearly. I, I'm sure. I think that's why more companies want multi-platform I release. I agree. You know? Like, there's always going to be exclusives. But anyway, uh, any I, as far as I'm concerned, who cares? We'll find out next month. Hats off to the UFC for making an unexpected splash who, in the You have industry, not for seen sure. any commercials for Infamous. What fucking hole do you live in? Dude? I never saw one for Infamous either. What and then remember they were watch, like, dude? we saw one in the movie theater, and I went to the movie theater and didn't see it. I've, what the fuck? I've, you know what? Like NBC, CBS. I agree with Discovery a lot of these guys Channel. too. I love I Infamous. I see Infamous commercials all you the time tell on your Spike buddies. and Com- watch Spike. Cartoon Network. I don't, I don't, don't watch Cartoon don't, Network. You I don't watch, watch MTV. fucking Discovery Channel and Science. No, actually, and I've never watched the Discovery Channel. They'll try to lay that on me. She TV and fucking James Patterson's Woman's Murder fucking mystery book club channel. I, I'll just end with this. Who's he talking about? <laughs> I, I am, He's I, sitting here I pulling not, shit out of his ass as his I, girl I was, watches. I was not trying to portray negativity when I said that. More or less, I think, hats off to the UFC and to the Dude, THQ they're, they're, they're just not, they're hearing what they want to hear because you said it only came out May 26th. Right. I mean, you said it to begin with. I, just, I said it. Uh, let's move on. Here's something for you PS3 guys, uh, including myself, that I know is fucking awesome to me. Uh, and, and I titled this one, The Mystery Could Be Solved. So, you know that PS3 action RPG Demon Souls that we've been talking about for weeks and weeks? The one that somehow topped the charts in Japan and no one quite knew why. It's like a fucking mystery. Well, they might have been holding one of the best kept secrets about the game back. I think it was two weeks ago, we got kind of excited because they compared the games to King's Quest. Kingsfield, or from, or Kingsfield. Kingsfield, excuse me, from the same makers as well. Well, now, uh, the game, you know, as far as I'm concerned, could be completely gay, but this is a cool concept right here, Ed. So, the game features ghosts. Sweet. Sweet. But not what you think, Ed. Bukaki so goes. the game is constantly sampling the gameplay of other players and sending it down to your game. So what I mean by that is not necessarily a guy like opening a chest. When people die or when people do certain things in the level, it like takes snapshots and then you will see them throughout the game. So... I, and I've got it here. The, so I got to see result, what other people are doing. Right. So listen yeah, how to they The result it. is explained well by a demo Kotaku received at E3. And this is a direct quote from Kotaku. The most interesting application of the ghost mechanic may be how it handles player death. Throughout the darkened caverns of the level, I was shown that there were blood stains on the floor. Some were at the edge of a chasm. Others were in the middle of an area where open combat was waged. The blood stains represented the deaths of other players. Stepping on the stains and pressing a button activated a ghost rendering of some other player's final moments in the game before their character is killed. Does that not sound awesome to be able to see like how other people like bid it in a game? I love that to see, oh, you know, this guy got his ass kicked. This right. Way. And, you know, like you might not be like, well, that's not going to sell me a PS3 and it's not going to sell me that game. But what it sells me is the fact that, you know what, there's still so much innovation to be done in, you know, in gaming. I agree with the innovation. I could give a fuck less how somebody failed a level. That's dude, but bullshit, listen. dude. If yeah. I want to see anything, it's I want to see what someone if, fail. What if you see someone like do it a way that you didn't know oh that's a that's i, I don't see do how they do time. it i see how they die no 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 no. that was only one cent like if i go over and uh you know maybe i'm trying to find something in this thing and maybe you would constantly see ghosts like running down a hallway or something you know and like there's a key down there what it, like you would see various events not just deaths. The deaths was just one example. Oh. Uh, sorry if I... I okay, someone that. keeps spamming about VidZone. What the fuck's VidZone? I don't know. We don't know what Z- VidZone is, so we're not going to fucking where, talk where about it. Where do you it. see spam? I'm like, I looked and I don't see one mention of it. No, go up. Look, people are like, VidZone, VidZone. See it? VidZone, what? VidZone. What? Dude, scroll down, dude. I what? saw it, dude. Talk about VidZone. Talk about VidZone. It's yeah, the same, what dude. the fuck's VidZone? We don't know what it is. Moving on. It's a, it's a stupid Euro thing, Ed. It's not important. There you go. All right. It's not. VidZone is the sucks, is what they're saying. So uh, I'm not saying that they are. A different kind of exclusivity hit the games industry this week, but it might not be, again, what you expect. Of course, we have 360 and PS3 exclusives, which we argue about excessively on the show. But what about Rock Band or Guitar Hero exclusives? Well, in the first announcement that I can really recall, Harmonix has announced that Green Day will be exclusive to Rock Band. 
The deal will begin on July 7th and will start with three downloadable tracks from their new album. And it is suspected that future albums, and I'm hoping this, Dookie, will become available as well. And perhaps the possibility of Rock Band Green Day, although I would just rather have the downloadable content, to be I honest. A whole yeah, box see, my question was going to be, was it going to be like Green Day when they were good or Green Day like now? Uh, I, you know, obviously everyone that plays Rock Band would probably love to have Dookie. Or at least like a few select Dude, tracks. They even had, they had better albums before that too, you know? Yeah, they had one better album well, before yeah. that. I wouldn't exactly call it better, but it was good. Um, I don't know. What do you think about this? I think personally it's awesome just because I like Green Day. I don't know why you guys are going to argue about whether or not they suck. I think Green Day is still pushing out good songs for someone that's lasted that long. I don't have a problem with the music they do nowadays. That, that is true. They have but, I mean, wasn't Beatles... Wasn't Beatles in a rock band exclusive? Um, well, I guess that's the other one. I guess. You're but right. I still think that's a big deal that Green Day is a big sad. enough it's band that they go to for the exclusivity. To me that you use Beatles and Green Day in the same sentence. It, well, you know, Dude. okay. The point of the story being, how much more? The, because I was talking to Force about it outside. Because the Beatles suck. And I Green said, <laughs> and I said, Force, you know, it's not like. You know, Guitar Hero Metallica, where yes, it is Guitar Hero Metallica, but there are Metallica songs that I play on, you know, uh, on Rock Band. This is a band declaring that I'm only going to do business with these, with guys, these guys. So if you want to buy, you know, this game for my music, that's where you need to go. Um, that's going to be the future, dude. dude. I, Not I, trying to nail I think it's going to drive band. it because what happens is it starts with songs. And then it moves on to bands. And then it moves on to, like, labels. labels. Yep. And that's where it's going to get fucking nuts. And I think it's inevitable. To someone in the channel, I agree. Holy Diver needs to be a song that they release on either Guitar Hero or Rock Band, dude. Niche audience again? No, Dio. I'm not afraid of Dio, dude. I know, or I'm afraid I don't know that one. I don't know yeah. that one either. You, like, <laughs> you just pull this random shit out of your ass, and I just I know I'm going to be clueless on it's Dio. It's not. It's not niche. If you don't know who Dio is, man, then you're not in his niche. It's unfortunate. All right, moving on. We're about through page one, guys. We're making great time. Actually, we're, we're not doing that bad. Uh, when Itagaki left Tecmo, I wasn't really concerned about when the next Dead or Alive Beach volleyball game was coming. Although lie. Ed did have a few sleepless nights. Yeah, that was uh, a that the, was a lie, though, dude. You it, know, you're dude, I ordered I one. ordered the body pillow. You were like, I, PS3 needs one. PS3 <laughs> needs one. I ordered a body <laughs> pillow. Fuck um, uh, Where was I at? I was more concerned about what pervert-like activities Itagaki must be up to. You know, the guy's been constantly called out for being a race or sexist excuse me you know pig around the office etc but while i completely expected some announcement about him working on the big boo version of idol master it hasn't been or it has now been announced that itagaki has started a new company tokyo vikings and that totally sounds like a company that itagaki would found because Typically, Vikings rape and pillage. <laughs> I could see that too, but I mean, right? I, I don't you know, know why in his name is coming like big bouncing breasts or something like that instead of freaking playing around with word. I said like Tokyo Vikings. Vikings, Tokyo Vikings, um, and doesn't matter. They're Vikings. Dude, they'll do what the hell they want. What they want. Uh, other than hiring as many pervert game developers as possible, Itagaki does uh, the other thing he's known for, and that's well, that's talking shit. When asked what he thought about the new Bayonetta game and creator Hideki Kiyama, Kayama, excuse Kamiya. me, he said, uh, t he said, if I made a similar game as a game I made in the company I quit, which he means Tecmo, people would say, what an idiot. Can he make anything else? Well, that is more or less the opinion I have for uh, that Bayo something game. Covered in hair, is she? I don't know. Mr. Kamea must have a lot going through his head. Well, in any case, I would first recommend laser eye surgery. I'm sure he's not that strapped for cash. Right. Like, Where the hell did that? That come from God, holy shit i thought i was brutal those sometimes. guys have like some little private battle going on in the background that we must not know about for him to come out and say the dude needs freaking laser <laughs> eye surgery and what what company do you know what company hideki left because i assume he's left some new company I, now he's making his own bayonetta game i don't know i i don't know i do want to know what, are you sure I, it wasn't always with sega i don't think so i mean i can't think of anything sega else would have made that would have been along the lines of this creator but to think that someone just bashed that dude, dude out and it's totally bashed. a dead or alive ripoff that out game or devil bashed. may cry yeah 
Um, anyway, uh, he's still talking. You still have shit. faith. You still have faith in like hearing Metroids made by Team Ninja, knowing that itagaki has gone though. Yeah. Like, do you think Team Ninja still carries a good name, even though? Yeah. I think that, is gone? I think that how people see it wrong is that people are like oh, Samus is gonna have big boobs. I'm like, no, that's what Itagaki would have done to the game. Exactly. Someone else. So the action came from the the brains. The boobs came from Itagaki. I mean. Yeah. yeah, he didn't do anything for the game. That's uh, let's it. let's Other be saying, real. Let's increase their I mean, breast size. Well, let's be let's be. I mean, no. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's like, you know, he's kept alive many franchises, but I I question his overall involvement in something like that. You know, like if it takes it out, maybe they're not. I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Oh, he's from Clover. Oh, there we go. Because I knew, I knew that, that this was coming from a company that had previously made something else. <laughs> Someone's getting really excited that you were typing, and I was laughing to myself because I was like, they're going to have to wait a long I know, time dude, when for I had to get that out. Uh, and, and, and insane enemies. I think Itagaki was definitely fucking munching on some mushrooms and coming up with some fucking wacky monsters and shit. No, no doubt about that. Halo Three ODST, not as budget as I uh, remember we them saying. Yeah, I remember this. Four show. hour experience, yep. forty dollars. Yeah, exactly, yep. thirty nine ninety nine. Back when, and it was when it was Halo Recon, and I guess that's what you do, guys. I guess like if you if you make a promise about a game, change the name halfway through development. And not only that, but why change it to a nah, shitty? I mean, I understand their orbital dude. drop shock troopers, but like ODST just doesn't freaking come off the tongue like. Halo like recon. Re yeah, or like Reach and then Recon. And maybe that's why. Maybe they had planned to call it Halo Reach. And then Reach is going to be like Halo BDS FPT or we just fucked you out of more money. Oh, it, it, it's going to happen right here. Because uh, we're going to make this a value title is the words that came out of their mouths when it was called Halo Re or Recon. Excuse me. Fuck, I keep on saying that. Even saying, quote, we don't believe this is a $60 title. Those are the words that came right out of their mouth, Ed. Well, someone at Microsoft does. Because this is going to be a $60 game. Which, don't forget, includes maps that were already downloadable content and that likely every hardcore Halo player already has. So, uh, you know, that... that I, I mean, I guess a lot for of Halo mo guys... The majority of the out. people who Here play this probably I have already have those maps. I have something to say to for AA8. See ya. <laughs> I like this. Peace. There you go. Dude. Have a good day. Certainly, there's got to be out. other moderators that can do that. So that I we don't saw you. Now uh, I see you leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Forrest. I mean to interrupt, but that guy was getting out of control. I was just agreeing with you that yeah, most of the people have already played that, and you're right. You nailed it on why they're going to charge sixty bucks for this. You think? And why I'm going to pay sixty bucks for it? Really? Yeah. Because I thought you would be like, dude, don't don't say that shit. So I basically said, while I can't claim to know the reason for quote going back on their original intention, I obviously speculated that they raised the price because Halo Reach multiplayer beta that's included. And I actually had a freaking blast with my Halo beta at the time of Crackdown, and I'll probably purchase this just to get in that beta again. I mean, they're freaking, they're going to suck us out of money. They know they can screw us out of 60 bucks, so that's what they're going to do. I mean, Microsoft knows it's their people flagship will pay, title. Dude, people will pay it. They'll pay it. They, they want it. it. They will pay it. I mean, especially when it comes Microsoft, to if anyone will milk it, it's Microsoft. We mentioned last week that Microsoft didn't talk anything in regards to Xbox Live community games. Apparently, that got enough uh, press. Or maybe they were just waiting for a slow news week, kind of like this one. Microsoft officially announced that Xbox Live community games will now be Xbox Live indie games. Because community was just throwing me off. I was like, what the hell does community mean? What the hell's a community? Indie. Oh, now I know. <laughs> <laughs> this change that, comes on the release that, of the XNA game studio. Does the name change mean they can raise the price on them? Probably. To, from free <laughs> to like 99 cents. The yeah, thing is, exactly, is that most of those dude. games are 200 points, and I wouldn't even spend 200 points on them. Oh, they you do pay for them? Oh, yeah. yeah they're, they're, they're all points. 200, they're 400. Points, dude. And they go on sale wow. and shit, too. It's just like the App Store, only not updated as frequently, although it is updated almost daily. What, dude? You winking at me? I, I thought you said you had another one that I could have. Oh, I do. <laughs> They're in the fridge, dude. Oh. When I go piss, I'll grab you one. Boo! Dungeons & Dragons Online goes free, but, but not, not really. really huh? In an obvious attempt to increase the user base of Dungeons & Dragons Online, Gates of Eberron, the new expansion for D&D-O. God, that's a fucking weak acronym, D&D-O. Dungeons <laughs> & Dragons Online will move to a free-to-play model, which is used very loosely. 
The new model will allow users to join the game, create characters, and level to 20. What the free model won't get you is paying for specific races and classes, limited chat and auctions, and restricted access to Stormreach in its immediate vicinity. Which I gotta guess is like a major city in the game. Right? No, Stormreach was an expansion pack they brought out. Oh, there. okay, I got you. That, that makes sense. So, of course, paying a monthly VIP charge will uh, give you all that. My question to you guys is whether or not this model is encouragement to try the game or any MMO that follows this. Like, you know, is it just like the last cry of desperation Dude, when I, MMO goes that route? It's or funny, is it the right, way forward? Right before this show, I was telling you, as much as we talked about Free Realms getting 4 million users, yep. it deserves it. Free Realms was freaking awesome. Granted, it's skewed younger but there is still a lot, a lot of innovative younger. ideas how within. Pay, dude, how do they pay for like the upkeep of the servers? And because it's micro, it's all micro what transaction they said, I, We actually read a story on it. They said maybe only 5% of the people actually pay money. But that still generates 130 to 250 grand a month, which even for these guys is a ton of money to keep going. So, and, and not only right. that, but if your game is good people will pay they'll want more shit and i think dungeons and dragons online wasn't that bad granted it's all pve focused did you play that one in no dude because there's only pve yeah it's all pve but i like and it. they're like yeah we have an mmo but you can only pve well and the I'm thing like, is the thing that made me quit go fuck yourself the thing dude. that made me quit Terrible. warhammer is no one pve'd i like both you know but you know the fact that um it offers that. It's still awesome. Where were I you? Pay to play models. When I was running dude, Lost PvE Vail, all dude. the time. Holy shit, dude. We PVE'd in one dungeon. It was the best experience I ever had. And then all anyone did was run K after K after K to fight people. Q. It's all people did. Q, Q, Q after, Q, Q, after, Q, after Q. 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 Sure. I was <laughs> pretending I was Mexican. <laughs> Dude, I was followed by Mexicans today. <gasps> what? I was. No, hold on. We're not gonna get derailed. Totally, dude. I looked uh, behind no, stop. me. Stop. Because I, I like this. looking. I like this one. And for about four blocks, there's a minivan with a crucifix and a sticker of Jesus on the back of it. And I knew, dude. <laughs> they were coming for you. <laughs> Mexicans were hot on my trail. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> this, this little update, right. though, the fact that it's not available to Europe. Like, how pissed would Europeans be knowing that everyone else is playing it for free? And they're paying for it. Yeah, that's that right. I, I didn't me mention that. I, thank you for pointing that out for us. Uh, so, uh, Europe users, all you guys are like, oh, my fucking God. Well, you're screwed. It's not happening in Europe. So, uh, This uh, news item kind of speaks for itself. This was good enough that I felt like I want to play it on the show. Uh, I've talked a little bit about Global Avenda because I'm in the alpha, and I've uh, you know not really played that much since I first got into it, partially because it's hard for me to play those games and you know then get completely burnt out on them before they come out. So I usually just try them out. But anyway, this is uh, from E3. It's Global Agenda's sort of approach to, like, we're changing MMOs, right? Um, and again, uh, I, I, I enjoyed this one. I, I think you guys will like it, too. Since the dawn of time, elves have thrived within a magical fantasy kingdom. Disdaining technology, they defend themselves via mystical arcane magic. Behold the mage. Of course, technology is inevitable. Enter the Recon. That's hilarious. <laughs> you got to love that. <laughs> That's right? awesome. You got to love that. I think... Uh, That's nice. So I they got a they sense of humor, too. Awesome that freaking that. video is pretty funny. That's good. Uh, yeah, those guys uh, Those guys keep on impressing me, you know, from their marketing now to their, actually their game. And I'm excited when a lot more people get their hands on it. I think they'll... They'll find that it's a, it's a great title. So, uh, The Coffin Gets a Coffin. Microsoft has announced that they will discontinue The Coffin, a name for the morbid cardboard box that was used to ship your Red Ring of Death 360 or in many of the other problems. That Dude, I, I had a coffin arrive at my house. That was a sad day. Yeah. Well, Microsoft will continue to provide free shipping, so you don't have to worry about that. It's now up to you to find a box. Which reactions to this are mixed because some are jumping for joy because they no longer have to wait 
for a coffin to arrive, which was like the bane of many gamers that I'm sure if that happened to me, I would be in that situation. But uh, others are worried about, you know, self-packing. I would not want to find my own box because it came right. nice and sat packaged perfectly. Did it when get they mailed it back in the same coffin? Yeah, the so- coffin folded out into a mail back package. Yeah, it was what perfect. about the 360 box you're fucking system came in i know you have it oh but you wouldn't mail back that whole box just because you, all you send Why back not? is your machine because you'd have to stuff it and wrap it and all this shit i would not mail back my original box no way you'd want something much smaller no way there you go well there force, you go force says it right there uh esrb wants to do iphone how do they care well, like what do they get like we want to do we want to rate your games bitch like how do they even get well how do they even able to so say that i th- here's what's interesting about this and i know a lot of people including ed are going to be like who gives a fuck well you know what when they got 1 billion apps and 40 million iphone users out there i think that's a pretty fucking big deal so my they want to hit the games the problem is is that i think that itunes and apple wants to create a ratings across the board have you read their ratings what do you mean like an Apple, an Apple descriptor on a game. This is rated teen, contains violence, nudity, profan. I mean, like a huge right, descriptor. But, like it's way better than anything the ESRB already does. But and they but don't that's allow not Apple. Games. That's self. That's people self doing. It. No, it's Apple. They, it's on their their Do, does product the ES, Does the ESRB charge a fee to like rate your game? That's a good question. Maybe they're just trying to. I, fucking I, I think they do. Maybe they're just trying to fucking because like, people, dude, there's money in it. Because people won't carry eat. games without an ESRB rating. Yeah. So they charge to get it rated. Like, look at any game, and at the bottom, there's a disclaimer that's created by Apple for their products. That, uh, dude, they want fucking loot. Just that's, looking. If, if, if they get paid you for think they want rating get a game, paid? I think they see where money is flowing, and they're like, dude, I want to get paid. Look, just look at anyone, and then scroll all the way down to the very bottom. Right. And then rating, rating four, four plus. plus. And then if there's any kind of content they describe it all right there so that's why they don't want esrb they, to yeah it. they already have it plus they don't allow m-rated titles esrb is really only good to distinguish now, between the m's dude, and I the t's hold on though. slow news week what how the fuck do we have three pages of news it's, well it's slow because you keep on you know dude i'm fucking talking about being gonna, stalked by mexicans i'm gonna go pee and get <laughs> grab beer. me a beer yeah that's it what one? about wait this one no. says not yet rated so like what does that mean it's like the top I don't know. Okay, like what, you know. But the thing is, okay, after, I after guess they're I going show you, I'll, show you the, I'll show you the detailed well, descriptions on some of them. I, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. Like Terminator has it, some of the, t- some of the, but I still think those are like, uh, those are like user submitted. I think users are putting those own things in. I don't know that Apple's doing that. I, I don't know. I think they have to go through some certification process because we hear all those, it was denied access to the App Store because of this. It was, you know, we're not allowed because of this. Well, I thought that was just pretty much because straight up. Questionable content. Yeah, you know, TNA and shit. Anyway, the point being is that, uh, you know, it would just be kind of weird, I think, for ESRB to do that, although it would make sense because they do pretty much just about anything. I don't know if they do other mobile carriers. I well, What would they have to do? You already have to submit to the App Store. you got to submit it to the App Store and submit it to ESRB and then wait on both of them and then yeah. it gets published. Yeah, and that's one of the things that's nice yeah. is that, you know, in terms of release dates, it's just like you wake up one day and it's like, oh, fuck, that app I've been waiting for for a month now is out. out. You know, it doesn't have to go through all that bureaucratic shit. Uh, speaking of the iPhone, actually, this one's yours. You can tell uh, me I actually this thought one. this was pretty cool because Carmack is all, John Carmack is all about the iPhone right now. Just right. released Wolfenstein, his bringing back um, Doom. But this one's an even bigger one in that he's hired another company that he's working with and they're bringing Doom for the iPhone using the Doom 3 engine. Yes. And the screenshots I've seen look of it really look good. awesome. Like yeah, I can't believe I was how like, dark and moody and textured it looks. And that's cool that it's not a remake. It is actual side story that runs right. along to the main story of right. Doom 3. Now, I think it's, uh, it's a rails. It's on yeah, rails. Yeah, it's like on rails, but you move during it. You move and shoot while it moves you forward. So like you look left and right and shoot. When you watch the gameplay, it looks like you're doing it all, even though I know a lot of the movement's already done for you. But just the fact that someone like Carmack is getting behind the iPhone saying, it's hey, a this big is a deal. true device. It's a big deal. Um, you know, again, I, 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 uh, I think we're going to see more and more great shit on there. Now, one thing I don't have in here, which I'm probably not going to really talk about it that much, um, but um, the, uh, the whole, there's a lot of companies on the fence right now if they want to exclusively make games for the 3GS. 
because they feel like they're instantly going to segregate like 95% of the iPhone users out there. And Gameloft, one of the major game publishers for the iPhone, has already said, we will not develop apps that only work on the 3GS. Well, and you said, you know, you're like, I'm going to drop hundreds of dollars to get it the day it comes out. Yeah, yeah. There really isn't anything that makes no, me say I need to get it right away. No. I thought you said 400 If he If he does well, it for 200 I'm following everything you do. What? If you get it for $200, I'm following every you step you would be you willing do. to do it? Hell yeah, for 200 I'm not paying 400 though. Well, no, I'm paying 400 because well, Jen's I'll, getting Well, I'll pay 400 for two phones. Right, exactly. What is the 3GS, people are asking? It, the S means speed now, and he was right. They don't even talk about the graphics chip, but I actually read someone who went into the minute details. It has a whole new graphics yeah. chip, faster processor. I mean, it lets you do shit you couldn't do before. On the phone, it, the, the the S stands for speed. It's is what uh, saying. it's 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 a faster device. Um, it's as well the as iPhone. as well as now it's a video quarter too. It, it's got a better camera in it. I mean, it's it's really what, in my opinion, the three G should have been because the only real difference was the GPS and on the three G. Where this one to me is like a pretty fucking significant upgrade, and that's why I wanted day one. Day one, bitches. So why doesn't Valve do PS three? Well, this is going to be interesting because Force said... I'm already pissed that he put this article in yeah, and not me. Force was like, I would have written this article completely different. So, uh, anyway. Uh, if you ask me on the street, especially after the Left 4 Dead 2 announcement, I would say that Valve doesn't do PS3 because it is about money. Valve's Tom Leonard had, to me, an equally boggling answer. The PC and the 360 are just more straightforward. We could focus on what we want to do, which is make game experiences, instead of sweating bullets over obscure architectural decisions they make with their platform. I didn't come into this business in the 90s because of some technical fetish. I came in because I wanted to give people experiences that made them have fun. While the concept of PS architecture being difficult is nothing new, and these are my words now, statements like these from developers kind of make me scratch my head. So does Valve's Tom Leonard believe that there are, quote, no fun gaming experiences on the PS3 or the Wii for that matter? Minus Steam, I'm starting to believe that Valve really is just like everyone else, and I'm taking them off the raised pedestal that they once stood upon. Dude, and if I would have wrote this, I would have said Valve has just moved up the pedestal by saying, I'm not going to waste my time on a shitty machine that's difficult to develop for but listen, and doesn't have a user base you, to make us money. Dude, look, He came right out and said, whoever designed this didn't make it easy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Amen this guy force. says he wants to make better games. What people don't understand and what I swear to God, 70% of the comments out there from people who did understand said one thing. Sure, it might be difficult, but you know what? Once you've mastered it, it's going to make better games, which will be discussed in just about one more article. And but you'll see, see I don't think that's true. The only thing that is argue absolutely with is fucking true. Graphically, Go it's going to make better games. anyone. Go ask anyone who's got any sort of knowledge of the cell processor, and they will tell you that the true potential of what it can do far exceeds like no what is being done. No one's arguing with you there. Well, no one can do it. What are you talking about? No one can do it. Fucking companies are doing it all over the it, fucking. This is what scares Every me. fucking company that's not Valve that's Here's doing what production me for too. PS3 is automatically fucking a And I'm Valve. hearing companies say we're pushing it. We're pushing the PS3 to the max. The infamous guy said that. We are pushing this machine, and it doesn't look that much greater than prototype. And the fact is that They're when it is pushed it, to the max, graphically it might it look max. a little bit better, but game it's not that wise. much superior. Gameplay-wise, you can make a good game on both machines, and it's much easier to make it on the 360. So we're going to go where the users are. Where we can make kick-ass games but instead of it, wasting a year in R&D on how to make it. That's fucking lazy, dude. No, I'd rather them spend no, a year No, they're like, it. Left for Dead 2. Ching. 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 We get the point. That's only one game in their whole history. I'm pissed that you're actually insulting Valve. Because I think they're superior to just about every company out there. I think that's there. bullshit to that say that. Honest? Like, to that he bashed your little sweetheart? I think no, that's awesome. Come on, dude. <laughs> I think that's awesome. It's not like that at all. But to say, like, <laughs> I want to make good experiences. That's why I don't fucking program on the PS3. Like, you know, what PS3 sort of fucking douchebag cock-munching fucking article or fucking statement is that? 
I, he does make good game experiences, so whatever he says is so right. So you've never had a good game experience on PS3? I haven't had anything that made me say, thank God I have my PS3, I can't experience this Wow, because I'm pretty sure that you said that about Uncharted. I'm, what, what I'm pretty sure that you said pretty much Listen, the same Listen, dude, I'm not talking about graphics. I'm not a graphics whore like you are, okay? I'm not going to argue with you that visually they can do more on the PS3. Yeah, they clearly can. I'm not going to argue Visually. Gameplay-wise, no. It's all in the hands of the developer, and they can, they can do more Fair. quicker. Yeah, they're probably bitches because they don't want to spend that extra year it takes. But it's taken forever for good games to come out for the PS3. Forever. Come on. What about all of these same, like, release, like Prototype? Did Prototype take extra time because uh, it all wasn't I know, done for All the I know PS3? is that, like, I just feel like that my PS3 collection gen- takes up one, like, eighth of a shelf, and my 360 takes up three shelves. Well, yeah, but you, what, uh, my 360 collection takes up one box. But, but what <laughs> Try, is the okay, here, I don't three, understand here. what you're trying to I say. I have a contest real quick. Try and guess the one game that old DJ Wheat owns on his 360. <laughs> Go ahead and just type it in right now, and we'll see if anybody's right. Oh, yeah, I told already. If anyone was paying not. attention, I just said it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, dude. Dude, I just think that it's fucking... I just, I just think it's like, awesome. No, I say that. It's, come out it's, it is. It awesome. It's Halo 3. It's the only game he owns. I think that one just came with it. Way to give it away. It was Halo 3. That's the only game I <laughs> Let's move on. All right. All right. I'm moving on, even though I'm still not okay with that. In other PS3 news, Kaz Harai, who has been pretty vocal lately, like every single episode the last three weeks, it's been like, Kaz Harai had this to say, and it's you know not necessarily been... You know, bullshit, but he managed to summarize, in my opinion, the past two years of a regular epileptic gaming s- statement into a single paragraph. At least, maybe from my point of view. Okay, he summarized <laughs> the statement into a paragraph? Isn't it summarizing no, he a paragraph? He summarized into a the past two years of, regular epi- of a regular epileptic gaming statement. So, like the same argument made many, okay, many okay. times over, okay. right? Into one statement. And so what amazing words of wisdom did Kaz drop on us this time? They might even be words that Force the X-Bot will agree with. Check it while he wrecks it, Force. A console, this is what Kaz says, a console always needs a solid core of games that appeal to gamers. If you go mainstream too quickly and don't support the core gaming audience, then you lack the pillar to support your platform. Without this pillar, you end up with fickle audience that might be big but will probably move on. And I think we all know which company that he's kind of like floating his who, words who towards. Do you think? Nintendo. Nintendo. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on, dude. You I thought you were gonna try the... to bash Natal. I dude, was like, how's he gonna no, spin this to Natal? No, not not. He's not gonna make a statement like that when they got their own shit coming out. I think that I think that he's responding to people saying, "Why did it take you guys so long to get your motion controllers?" You oh. know, like that's. The context. He didn't just walk up one He's day. He's absolutely and say, right, though. Turn the fucking camera on, and then give his. He's right, though. That Nintendo didn't grow up with this. He's audience totally like right, dude. To. And and uh, I think that's one thing I wrote in here. I think that's one thing that Microsoft and Sony have excelled at, because you know what? I mean. Maybe when the Xbox first came out, if it would have come out with the same kind of announcements, like we got Facebook and Twitter. Your first, like, when you bought that Xbox, your first, like, line of attack was what? It was gaming. Like, you yeah, exactly. oh, yeah. probably no matter what else it has. you yeah. would be watching Netflix on your Xbox or anything like that. I don't think any of us did with any of this generation of console or knew it was coming. So, you know, I, I'm, it's just interesting that they would say that. But uh, And the fact that he says that players are moving on because they are. Look at those punch out numbers. The Wii is a wow. gimmick, dude, and they've realized it. The Wii They're going to break it out gimmick, for sports dude. when someone new comes it's to the totally house and that's a all they're going to play. It's totally a gimmick, dude. It's been a gimmick since day fucking one. It has. I don't know. Nintendo disagree. just needs to fucking bow out gracefully, dude. They need to bow out of the fucking home console system and, and turn their attention to handheld, I think, and <sighs> excel in revolutionizing the handheld market. We will. Uh, That's my opinion. Some of you chatters out there, we will see. They're talking about the Natal now, but I'm just going to wait and see when it comes out with a fucking ridiculous price tag. When you have to wear a red jumpsuit to play it. <laughs> no, that's that's not. I. That's not true. This one's yours. This one's yours. <laughs> but actually, I, it wasn't like I set out ahead of time, and the next couple of news stories just all happen to be electronic arts. They just opened their mouths a ton this week. And um, one of the good things that did come out of it 
was the fact that Criterion is developing the next Need for Speed. I loved Need for Speed Underground. I loved Most Wanted, but most of the games that have come out in this series, sorry, Suma, have been shit. They've been, just been derivative knockoffs of other shit, and it hasn't been up to the quality. Now that I hear right. that Criterion is behind it, who I have a lot of faith in because I think the Burnout series, even up to Paradise, I love Criterion. And for the first time in a long time, I'm actually looking it, forward to a Need for Speed. The only thing that has me sketched out is that it might be a Need for Speed online. Like a focus you are, online. You're not, you're not worried that it might be more like a Need for Speed burnout? Like maybe That would they be awesome. Like, if they throw some art, because now they've gone sim. When you first played Need for Speed Underground, it was all about oh, Nitro yeah, ripping Way, through streets. Yeah, yeah, back yeah, in the yeah. day, Now dude. it's closed circuit sim racing like on their last game, and I just don't dig that attitude that they have nowadays. And I would love some of that burnout fun arcadiness thrown back into it, which is what I think that they missed. And um, But if it's multiplayer only, that part's going to throw me off because I actually hate, hate with a passion to multiplayer racing because you, you screw up once and the game's over with you have a hater dude there's a guy in the channel that hates you <laughs> fine <laughs> straight up fine. dude I, I uh, think, if you hate the truth then yes you hate me i think if, <gasps> if you hate hearing <laughs> things as they are then I you think hate if me he saw you out walking your dog he'd come up and kick it like what the fuck <laughs> sorry rudy awakening what's your deal dude? he'll he'll love you after this one force because i didn't even have to put this one on the thing. Uh, this force, one is awesome force put this for this was not my doing Force put this one in the script, Gil. <laughs> I don't know why you, you, it doesn't bash what you think it bashes. But I Electronic it Arts came out and said that the power of the 360 has been quote-unquote maxed out. Mm -hmm. Speaking to the media E3 last week, Patrick Sutherland, who's like the senior VP of EP, EA Games Europe, said the 360 has been maxed out and yes. the PlayStation 3 hasn't been. This is his exact quote. He says, I do think there that we'll go. see developers inside the organization getting to understand the PS3 better. And I think we'll be getting more and more power out of the PS3 right now. He then told the you know, official Xbox magazine, I think that we've maxed out the 360, but we haven't maxed out the PS3. Yeah. You want to know what's interesting about that force? And I didn't drop this on you when we were talking outside. You are aware that like EA started development on any PS3 title like two years after they started development on 360. And? And so, like, they've maxed out. <laughs> and the, it maxed uh, out. We're waiting for the here's, here's what I want to say. Let me finish the story, okay? Because now I don't want to argue. I'm not going to argue whether or not they have truly maxed out the power of the 360 or if the PS3 is more powerful. I think that that debate's still going to continue. Right. But it I just want to point out the fact that if any company has seen whether or not the 360 has reached its limits, it is definitely not fucking EA of all companies. You want to tell me that you were pushing the 360 to its limits when you guys pushed out Godfather 2, which had 15 of the exact same naked chick model all doing the exact same animation <laughs> at the same time that you guys max out the 360. Now, I'm not saying there's some companies out there who could make that statement, but Electronic Arts is definitely not one of the companies that can well, say they have maxed out the 360. I'm sorry. Dead Space? Dead Space did not max it out. I've seen companies do... Yeah. Products far superior to everything right, electronic let, let me just think has if ever pushed anything, out. What else did EA do this think year? About, play pro, think about Prototype, and then think about Godfather, Godfather 2. Godfather 2. Oh, and, and the fact like, that if no one is even at Electronic Arts is even close to maxing out the freaking DS, all right? Better yet, the 360. So, uh, I, I mean, <laughs> of course, I just want to jump on the fanboy back. Go and, for and it. Honestly, jump on the No, 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 no. Like, that, I'm, not, I'm not going to do it. I've already, I've already been extreme fanboyism, wheat alpha plus tonight anyway. Um, but, uh, you know, <laughs> and, I'll, just, I'll just shut up. Continue with Electronic Arts. Electronic Arts announced this week that they have canceled the Godfather series. They are they are eighty six in Jeez, that license. I wonder why. And it was like due to poor reception from the public and 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 lower than expected sales. Not because the quality of the title that they made was an abs. I mean, guys, this is oh, like one of the shittiest Prototype sandbox has games. Slowdown in forever. Prototype sure has does, intended dude. slowdown. 
but there are some. There are some slowdowns, down. but watch the. It's like intended for most. No, of I I know when you're targeting it, it def, but there is like. Well, I'm not gonna argue when you see how much shit goes on in that game. Oh, dude, I'm. Uh, it's okay. I'm not saying that it's bad, but I'm just saying like I mean I I'm talking about companies are definitely starting to fucking push bull. Push system. it to the max. There really are, and I I don't think to the max because you know you even look. I uh, you know what's. The other thing I was going to say, and it's not necessarily like a, just a fabricated negative uh, comment, but it, it, last week we talked about how Microsoft had said our system's got a 10-year lifespan. I hope that it's not maxed out for your sake if your system has a 10-year lifespan. But the thing is, is that we heard things yeah, like, yeah, think agree, about when I Ratchet agree. and you Clank know, and those first came out, we had maxed the PS2. And then we see God of War and Final Fantasy, you know, 12. And you're like, oh, my God, I never would have thought this was possible with the shit that I saw on exactly. launch. So I know it's in the true. right hands, both both machines uh, and have And everyone legs. is yeah. going to figure out how to do what they've I already done more efficiently. I honestly don't think we've ever seen any machine maxed out because I think we always jump to the new console too soon. No, I don't think so. But, you yeah. know, again, you guys can jump on know. me. But I definitely I, I feel like I've PS2 seen. the PS2 got maxed out. You it? did? Because God of War 2 came out. And it was the best looking shit I'd ever seen. Who knows if I think more that if, maxed it out, dude? But that who was knows? It. You don't know. There's nothing to compare it to. What if they would have had another year on the well, machine before having to jump out, bandwagon? Dude, what are, how are you going to compare it to anything? Well, they That's didn't max it, it out. That the next the, PS3 came out. Well, Everyone jumped see, ship yeah, after I that. I think the fucking that game set the fucking. But you don't know that. I'm telling you right now that the PS3 came out I too mean, soon. I mean, if the if like companies continue dude. to spend money and money and money developing, could they have even squeezed out more and more? Yeah, I think God of War three on the PS2 would have looked better than Part two. I just say that we as right. an industry tend to jump ship too fast. Uh, Microsoft actually said in one of their comments, he's, uh, he's tired. No, uh, Trenton said when he was talking about all of his leaks getting out for the PS3 ahead of time, he said he's kind of tired of being in an industry where all they're looking at is tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? All we ever do is want to jump ship to the next big nah, thing instead of seeing what can we I, still do today. I, well, I mean... You know, from a console perspective only, I hope he's not talking from like a games perspective because he was talking about all the all the announcements that had been spilled ahead of time. That all anyone ever cares about is what's coming out down the line, and he wanted to focus on the products that they're pimping this year. And he's like almost forced to talk about the next three years. You know all right, what I'm saying? like that's the vibe I let's got. Let's get to this. Now. No, Final those, electronic those, arts story. I just yeah. find this funny how they always open up their mouth and insert their freaking foot. Is that they announced that they're now jumping in the MMA market. Their next title is going to be an MMA fighter after Fight Night Round 4. And what they're going to do is they're going to swap Fight Night one year, MMA the next year, Fight right. Night the next year, because they don't want to oversaturate what? the market. Now, that, I don't know it, if you, It's not UFC. Is it going to be some, like... No, that's... See, I want to comment on this. Be. Is it going to be no, some listen, knockoff? It's not UFC. It's not? EA came out and said, there are enough unsigned fighters for us to create a game like this. And I was like... Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's you actually. Know, I mean, are there I mean, other leagues yeah, even close dude. to UFC level? There actually are, there are a lot of leagues. like floating fighters, but no one with like no one. No with one that would sell a title if I you don't, heard it in a store. I mean, there are some legendary individuals that I think are still you know uh, like available. You look at some of the guys in Affliction. You know, you got Fedor. I mean, like, there's a ton. But none of them, I think, quite have the same, like, U.S. appeal. Well, maybe they'll do, like, a Pride. But Pride yeah. is, Pride is still owned by UFC. I thought Pride meant, like, gay. No, there's Pride FC, which is still <laughs> owned by UFC. It's owned by UFC. Which... UFC actually went in and bought that shit from the fucking I actually, Yakuza, I can't believe that basically. Electronic Arts isn't just going to just, like, you know, throw a quarter of a billion dollars and say, just give us exclusive UFC rights for five years. But the best part of my story is that the fact that they said that they didn't want to oversaturate the market. And like the very next news story that I read right after reading this <laughs> is that Battlefield 3 is coming out next year <gasps> because I am stoked that it's coming out next year because Battlefield Heroes, which has its public launch soon, Battlefield 1943 and Battlefield Bad Company 2 coming out all this year yeah, isn't enough. It. Isn't enough. I mean, I don't want them to saturate the market. <laughs> Four titles in less than a year is just perfect for me. Oh, my God. Well, they are bringing out another Need for Speed game, too. So oh, my God. They got that. The, the fact that they even make a comment like Elite, we don't want to Elite saturate. Elite XC is actually owned by UFC also. It's a feeder. No, 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 no. Elite, uh, they didn't buy Elite XC. The one that's on Showtime? No, Elite XC, I think, got shut down, bro. 
Did it? Did you see yeah. it on Showtime? Then? No, it was on Showtime. Right, but and all the all the NBC. refs, all the refs were all well. All the refs do all the shit. We're all no, UFC refs, and they had like UFC that doesn't fighters. Mean shit. It Dude, like. f- the fucking motherfuckers got to feed their kids. Yeah, and now, dog. yeah, but they got the WrestleMania announcers there. You too, don't so think I mean, Dana's like a hundred thousand dollars? I mean, maybe that's what John got okay, back I, in the I day. Stand, I stand. Let's, let's, let's get let's get through our news, and then we can take our break and come back. Isn't that it? Well, we're gonna talk about how they're gonna promote Natal. Oh, yeah. Dude, I fucking threw away the last sheet. What does it say? Microsoft's putting a lot of effort and promotion into Natal, you know, since E3. But how are they planning on launching Natal? That's the big question. Like, is this going to see a huge launch? And they said, well, short of proclaiming that it's the best invention since the DVR. God, this sucks having to freaking read your words. Microsoft did not say it was the best invention since the DVR. What? Short of proclaiming. Bullshit. Come on. Dude, and short of proclaiming it is the best invention since the DVR. You're right. You know what? I take it back. You're right. I do not. The fucking dumbass media did it for them. A a Microsoft exec told Kotaku that, quote, it will feel like a console launch. And, quote, it will be as big of a launch as the 360. Now, my love-hate relationship with the 360, it's good that you didn't read these words, is no secret, but somehow I just cannot picture a winding line around fucking Best Buy with tents full of fucking motherfuckers waiting to get their hands on the top. Let me ask you something. That's what a console launch is Those were there for the Wii Fit. Those lines. Dude. That fervor was there for the Wii Fit. Then you know what? Listen. You hear Epileptic Gaming 177 will go down. If the Natal launch is that big, I will take said video camera that is right over there, and I will document myself just absolutely fucking ripping into these Let's jackasses. put it down on the bet because okay, I'm dude. saying okay. it will be as huge as something like Now, that fit. doesn't mean I'm going to buy it the next day, but if there are people camping for the fucking Natal... There I won't be. shove it I up think my there ass, will be. but I will I'm make sure it right now. I think we probably won't find out for a freaking what do you, half a What decade. do you think, Ed? Well, no, no. I, I want to address the people who are saying Natal is a gimmick, and I would agree with you if it was only the motion, <laughs> full-body motion. But, dude, the vocal recognition. And being able to surf your menus and shit like that. Yeah, and let me dude, tell you guys. I, I think that takes it a step beyond And that Cavs guy said it perfectly. You didn't answer my fucking question. Will people be fucking lining up outside Best Buy to buy it? I don't think so. I think so. I don't, I don't think, think they will. I think, I think they will sell out. And I think when Best Buy opens. They like, will not I, sell listen, out. I think it's oh, going to yeah, be on will. Conan. Dude, they They're will gonna sell out. They're going to see some dipshit doing it. They're not going to realize that it's not as responsive. Everyone thinks it, it is. Listen. Dude. But they're going to buy no, it based fuck on you, promises Ed, they If they perceive. sell out, then Microsoft is the dumbest fucking company in the world. Why? Because, dude, if they're going to have the greatest fucking invention since the DVR, yeah, they should be it. supplying the fuck out of it. Well, dude, iPhone I sold think, out. Yeah, iPhone and sold that out. That was the greatest invention, invention since, sliced since bread. fucking masturbation, right? Wheat. Since it you is. discovered you could fucking touch yourself, you're like, oh, I can jerk off it and I can even, talk on my nope, iPhone. It doesn't even matter that I can jerk off anymore. I've got an iPhone. That hey, He doesn't even jerk off anymore. He's got an app for that. <laughs> yeah, I know. You got, got an app for that, that don't you? No, we haven't taken our Jesus. break yet. And uh, I, 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 I will be shocked if Natal. Now, the other, the other side of this is that you know they're going to have a lot of ads. They're going to have a lot of promotion. They are going to promote obviously. the shit out of it, and it's probably not. You know, it'll probably be me waiting on day one. Probably won't be like a super hardcore. Well, but all these parents are going to see it. A line of one does not. Count all these for parents us. are going to see it. They're suckers for this shit, dude. I'm telling you. It's not going to be the hardcore gamer that's camping out overnight. It's going to be the mom and the pop wanting to get it for their kid for Christmas because they saw the commercial and won't stop whining okay. about it. I mean, that's where I think. All right. You know what? Maybe I just fucking see through all the bullshit. You do. You've got non-bullshit eyes unless it's got PS3 on it and blinders. That's not yet, full, dude. Full I, hey, blinders guess what? full power. No, listen. Listen. No one will be standing in line for the PS3 motion controller either. They oh are. my I god agree. let's I throw agree. that gauntlet down right now what do you mean and watch the natal sell out the we the ps3 motion controller a hundred to one dude what? watch that shit come out no all i was the say- ps3 the you ps3 wand is gonna come out me like dust I bunnies was a, are gonna uh, go across the hold store. on you just fucking attacked me in a fanboy met and i was being completely not fanboying by saying that yes i think the ps3 motion control won't sell out either and then you attack me back with a fucking fanboy statement okay hey i can't believe Dude, it it's seven fucking ten let's take a break 
Let's but come back and what? do our reviews. The, the thing is, is that now that now that Natal's out, like I can focus my attention from like we to Natal. It, I mean, I'm just I'm happy. And he's I'm, not. And he's not going to bash the games. He's got to bash the shitty dude, hardware. You're, you're fucking, he's got to bash some peripheral. The that's video, all the dude, ammo he the can get on the video game Rush Limbaugh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you are, dude. You're the video game wrestling ball. Can, no, you no, don't no, no, see no, no, the no, no, fucking no, no. glory That's for not what true. it is, dude. I would like you to call me the video game Michael Savage because oh, I God. think I rage a little bit more than Rush fucking Limbaugh. Michael Savage. Yeah, see? And, and no one listens you, to Michael Savage. That's not okay. true. That's Play not some true. music. Let's take a break. This is Michael Savage. We'll be back after the break. We're going to take a quick five-minute break, guys. Go grab yourself a new drink, take a piss, whatever you got to do. This is Epileptic Gaming, episode 177. We'll be back in a few.
Oh my God, Force. Oh my God, Force just about took out the whole setup. The bowl in the china shop has arrived. Sorry, for those of you that were asking me to lock Force outside, I just didn't have the heart to do it. So, uh, I didn't guys, have the strength to do it. Welcome back to Epileptic Gaming. We're on episode 177, and uh, it's now time to talk about, uh, well, this is uh, Hutch's feature. And uh, it was actually last week we got an email from a loyal EG viewer who said, hey, I got in this uh, weekend code, but I'm not going to be able to play. Uh, you guys, you guys take it. And I told Mike that I had it, and we were both like, give it to Ed. So Ed obviously uh, is going to give us, uh, well, yeah, I played. And uh, excuse me. I actually put the about Paps is wanting to talk. Nineteen hours on it. I got a few videos too. Nineteen hours in two days. That's pretty solid. Dude. Three days, four days, something like that. It and you were even sick. Friday. I was sick. I was really sick, so I didn't get to play as much as I wanted. So, but I put nineteen hours in, and that game is da na 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 na. Ion. Which is A-I-O-N. For all you bitches trying to look it up, I couldn't spell the shit either. A-I-O-N, Ion. And they did their closed beta weekend, and you got to play on the good side, the angels, so to speak. Basically, the game's broken down between angels and demons. and then, like, Is that what the classes are? I mean, the you know, like it's orcs and humans, is it? It's angels and demons? Basically angels, angels and, and demons. demons, yeah. So you have the good side that's very pretty, you know, the white wings, and then you have the bad side, which is Is there a religious aspect deformed. to it? No. Okay. No, not really. But uh, Okay, so let me get into the game, and uh, I'll start off with what was good in the game. And the first thing that jumps out at you right off the bat is the graphics. This game is absolutely Oh, yeah. That's Beautiful. Right. Just make sure you update Dude. your drivers. Make sure you update your drivers. I had not updated my drivers. Um, I'm running an Athlon dual core with um, a um, GeForce 8800, I think is what I'm running for my card. And uh, it ran the game perfect. It, it looked really good on this machine. It, it runs on the Crisis engine. I had not updated my drivers, so I was getting like this clipping and tearing, and I was really bummed. I was like, God, dude. You know, it looks great, but I think I'm getting server-side lag is what it seemed like to me. And oh. uh, once I updated my drivers, oh, there that you go. That was a short one. That's the end of the footage. Once I <laughs> updated my drivers, there wasn't really any problems. So um, uh, the, the big thing that really struck out for me at first was the character creation screen. And uh, you can really customize your character as much as you want to. I mean, they can be fat, they can be short, they can be tiny. I saw people running around that were super fucking small. Is it and, a PvP game? Because uh, in PvP, PvP games, game. I always try to make my character and as so small as if possible. You have, and there are people that were, like, small. And so they were hard to target, and they could yeah, run around. that's what I always do. And hard. then people were really fucking tall, you know? And so, like, there's just this wide range uh, of character customization that was on there. The graphics aren't ma, I'm sorry. Of, of any MMO I've played so far, the graphics in, in freaking Ion have blown me away. They are absolutely gorgeous and the fact that my i also can't verify like how old some of this footage is because you know they've got strict rules about taking a lot of footage and there was some on youtube but it's just not that good it looked quality, good so. i saw it running on ed's machine and it looked good yeah um next performance and i'm gonna uh, you knew the specs of my machine i just pretty much told you it ran amazingly i would be in heavy populated areas Fighting monsters, other people were fighting monsters, and I was pulling 120. And when I heard it was a crisis frames. engine, I didn't think that was possible. You know, so I, was I didn't think it was possible either because I heard all these like you know horrible tales. Oh, dude, it's a crisis engine. There's no way your machine's going to be able to run it. But my machine ran it awesome, and I would be in cities full of people, and, and it ran great. It really did. Um, like I said, I did have to update my graphics driver, but um, other than that. You know, once I did that, it worked out uh, pretty good for me. Next, I'm going to talk about the UI. And it's very clean, it's very smooth, and it's very easy to use. If you've played any type of MMO, um, you're going to be able to jump right in and, and uh, be able to feel comfortable with the UI. Um, it's hot bars, a couple of hot bars. 
Um, you put your actions on those hot bars. I love and cut and paste of every yeah, it's MMO. Very I looked at it in the screen of like every MMO you It's seen. just like every MMO. Um, the UI is very, very simple. Um, next, I'm going to talk about the questing system. And the questing system, I really liked. The questing simple uh, system was very simple, very easy to use. You would get a quest to, uh, you need to go and find this guy and kill him. And once you kill him, um, you retrieve this item and you take the item back to um, somebody that knows, like your initial quest giver, okay? Uh, pretty simple, forward, and basic. What they do, though, is they have a built-in system. So you can t you could click on the name of the guy that you wanted, and it would pull up like a little screen that would give you a description of who he was, kind of the general area he, he hung out. And then there was a locate button. And then you would hit locate, and it would highlight on your map where you need to go. Neat. So there was no, like, doubt of... Do right. I need to do this quest? No what downtime, fuck, wasting time you know? searching. Yeah. Yeah, it's very easy. It's very easy to find people. We'll ask Ed at the end how it compares to World um, of Warcraft and WoW. So, uh, yeah, the locate button built into the quest system. I'm glad they do that. Um, there are add-ons that I use in Warhammer. There were add-ons that I used in WoW that were Tell like me very quickly, helpers. did you go name mob hunting? Like, was there, like, where well, there's 15 guys waiting on one dude to spawn? I will get into this. Okay. Okay, I will get into this. Uh, music, sound, music's, you know, it's good. Sounds good. I mean, it's nothing like you're going to write home about the, uh, the music's very like serviceable is what you say. Yeah. It, it's, it's very, good. you know, fitting to what you're doing. You're getting into a big fight. The music becomes epic. You know, you're coming down from your fight. It slows down. It disappears. You go into a city, you know, it's music in an MMO. It's whatever. Um, some miscellaneous things. Um, one thing that I really enjoyed, I rolled a ranger, and the rangers are certainly overpowered as they stand right now. Um, in duels, I was just fucking people up, dude. You can kite so well. They have so many options for you as a ranger to, to kite people. You have slow down traps, you have snares, and you can just plug away at them. Now, should they close the distance on you? They have a quick switch button that you can add to your hotbar that allows you to switch from your range weapon to your melee weapons right on the fly during mid-combat. So I really enjoyed that, That's especially cool. in Warhammer right now. If you're in combat, you can't switch your fucking weapons, dude. You're right, stuck right. using the weapon that you're using. So uh, you may have a better like board and sword type thing in, in Warhammer. Um, to like absorb damage and things like that. Well, in in this game in Ion, you can switch to that stuff on the fly. Um, the wings, the big. Watching thing. this video, right. this right. person flying right now looks sweet. The flying is awesome. I love the flying aspect to it. And there are points where I was thinking, man, this flying can get really carried away. And so there are areas you can't fly in, like you just can't fly away. What you can do, though, is you can jump off of, like, a cliff and hit jump again, and your wings will come out, and you'll glide. Nice. You can't fly can up I and prototype. down, but you can, like, glide over camps, or you can glide over water, or you can glide to somewhere where you need to be. There's a timer on your wings, so if you're up flying and trying to do <laughs> things and you're like your timer is, like, running out, they have different types of potions and things that you can take that will increase your fly time. Not everything's going to be in the air, and like later on, like level 30 and level 60, I think, um, what I saw, you can purchase upgradable wings that give you longer nice. flight time. So, and they look different. Uh, trade skills. Trade skills are really easy to use. Uh, basically, you have your one basic trade skill, which is like a gathering skill, and you can gather all sorts of things in the, in the environment. And they have all sorts of quests that are centered around your gathering. And even when you're out gathering, just using your trade skill, you get experience every time you successfully use your trade skill. I kind of like that yeah. where they find experience yeah. in like, so trade like, skill. Yeah, so like you can just constantly work on your trades and not worry about falling back in experience because you're getting experience for utilizing your trade skill. Okay, um, finally, monster variation. And this kind of goes into graphics. 
I went to a, a, a bunch of different areas, and there was so much monster variation. Nice, because I hate just cut and paste. Yeah, it wasn't flops. cut and paste, and that's what really struck me unique about the game. And uh, can I just throw some? You don't really like. It, just correct me if I'm wrong, but like in WoW and Warhammer, a lot of times you're like fighting a mob for a good amount of time, but you yeah. kind of like wreck these fucking mobs, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. do. And I'll get into this one too. Okay. Uh, I have a miscellaneous section I'm going to talk about, but yeah, you can wreck these mobs if you if you get into a group, and uh, the group dynamic works really well. Okay, that's the good. All in all, I really enjoyed those aspects solid of the game. mmo for a solid preview MMO weekend for not a, a lot of bugs weekend. you got through okay so the bad the bad number 1 no inverted fucking mouse dude learn to play i'm with you there dude i I'm played sorry, silent dude. hill and i couldn't invert it's i a bitch. grew dude it's i a bitch. i learned playing fucking from inverted you, fucker yeah but i want to got it's all inverted. inverted mouse dude and so i learned inverted mouse so it took me about two and a half, three hours to get comfortable with the non-inverted mouse. And when it's the free, one of the most annoying things you've and ever when done the free preview weekend was over, and I went about? back to Warhammer, it took me another three hours to kind of get back. Get I'm used telling to you, you should have just switched back and just fucking trained yourself, man. You it's should switch it. back is what you no. should have I, I No, no, I'm tired no. of everyone in the house being able to play inverted, then we gotta switch it out whenever we give the controller to Wii. We gotta go to the <laughs> Because I played... Wait, hold on. When you start up every goddamn video game in the world, what does it fucking default to? Thank you. Inverted. No, it does Thanks not. Thanks to the 360 profile set. Shut okay. up. Oh, yeah. Uh, PS3 that. owned, bitch. No, because <laughs> everyone on the PS3 plays normally. The grouping function's kind of weird, and it kind of upset me a little bit. Basically, you you do groups, and they call groups alliances, okay? And so Sub, who's a friend of ours who's played all sorts of, he's played MMOs right. with us. Warhammer and all that shit. He was in the free preview weekend also, and I invited him to this group, and I'm like, yeah, come on, let's go questing together. Let's go do some shit together. And he's like, all right. And he's like, where are you? And I'm, I told him, and he's like, oh, I'm there too. And I look on my map, and I see his icon. I'm like, okay, well, come meet me at this at this spot in front of the city. And he's like, okay, I will. He comes, and he's like, well, I'm standing here. And I go, well, I'm standing here. He's like, I don't see you. He goes, do you see fucking Crybaby666 in front of you killing that monster? And I'm like... No, I see douchebag fairy eight three two fucking killing a monster. And I was glad when I heard this action. And he was like, "What the fuck is going on?" Basically, what he had to do is he had to right click my name and join my channel. And when he joined my channel, Way even to go. though we no, were on the same no, server, no, 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 someone is M M B F is saying instances got pass. Dude, that was like one of the greatest thing about Guild Wars. Dude, instances are where it's at because fighting mobs with thousands of people just sucks nowadays. Yeah. Now, I like both. Yes. I don't like just instances. No, I would not say a la Age of Conan. I would say a la Guild you know, Wars. I'm not saying channels are a bad thing, but when I wasn't expecting them and we're standing there trying to figure out what the fuck was wrong, well, now yeah, you know it was kind of bad. Because now yeah. you're going to be like, this we're in nine. Or Guys, bad, meet so. nine. We always meet nine. Come yeah. on, go to nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I don't like to. I I like it better when there's just one world when you're on the server. Because okay. I thought Guild Wars was kind of getting. And now I realize this is beta, but the game's been out for a year and a half. There is this alliance function. And one of the funnest things I did was I got into this big group, 24 people, and we're cruising through this outdoor dungeon, right? And fucking That's all the we are that. killing like these elite mobs and like 24 people killing a mob. You're getting three and a half, four K experience a shitload, at basically. like level seventeen, nice. and it felt fucking epic, dude. Like you're like, dude, this I shit's hate getting with hard, big groups man. and getting no XP. And you're like, so that's man, cool. I'm only level seventeen, and this feels fucking. And epic. the cap is sixty, I okay. think, something like that. But the problem was is that if someone was in the alliance and they dropped by accident, let's say they DC'd and they came back. They couldn't join back up into the alliance. Like once you've you've joined in the alliance and you you leave the alliance, there's no oh, way to join. Dude, back that's a keyboard breaker. I remember getting yeah, kicked out of dude. instances and in so WoW. Like you disconnect and there, lose the instance. That there was a really big problem, and um, it's hard. Also, once you get started, inviting new people to try and get them 
like to where you're at, at in some points, but that's just kind of um, nitpicky thing. Some of the quests were broken. There were five quests that I can think of right off the top of my head that did not work in the game. At a year and a half in in Korea, and then you're offering a ye- EU US beta. You'd think that that shit I would, would be working. I think that some of that shit would be worked out. And uh, it just, and I checked uh, player community boards, and all sorts of people were complaining about these quests. They were legitimately broken. And uh, level th- 30 plus is insane grind, some people are saying. Yes, that I'm going to get okay. to that too. Okay. Okay. Uh, you got about. You got, about got a lot to get to. Three still. minutes. Yeah. Uh, okay. After about four hours of solid gameplay, I did suffer some like tearing, and it may have just been my machine. I don't know. Um, I thought it was my router. I reset it. Um, I was still experiencing it. You mean like rubber banding? Yeah, like okay. rubber banding. Okay. Um, so once I shut down or got out of the game and rebooted my sh- machine and went back into the game, that fixed it. Um. People selling stuff, dude. They have, like, you can either go to a broker and trade things, or you can sell stuff your own, and you have your own, like, private market. Everywhere, dude, it's almost as bad as gold fucking sellers, dude. It's just people, like, spamming general chat. See, I think that's something that they probably weren't going to add, but once they hit Korea, Ed. fucking annoying. Dude, I played Silk Road, which is a Korean game, and that was a huge thing. Setting up your own stall and selling your shit. I I know. Grind, dude. This game is a fucking grind. Hands down. Bad grind? It's a grind, dude. They said that it's not going to be a grind, but it is an Eastern MMO, dude. And they, they spend love forever grinding, up. dude. And that is carried over in this game. And you start to feel it once you hit level 17, level 18. You realize that, dude, this is going to be a grind. And once I get into later levels, it's going to be a Now, big if you're grind. with a group, like if you have a group of people, is it different? It, and you're in a big group and you can cruise through things, it's a little bit different. But because, solo, because like I spend a lot of my time dude, solo, so I hate when I hit that grind. It's really hard solo. Um, death penalty. You lose XP when you die. <laughs> now, dude, do level You cannot level down, but you lose XP. And I'm used to losing XP. And Camelot get, them did it. You can't level your, down. To get your XP back, you have to pay gold. And it can get expensive, dude. It wow. can be like 1,500 but gold. But you can get, get it back? But you get it back crazy yeah so you go to a soul healer and you get it back bag space is very limited and it's very expensive to get bag space you're for you have 18 slots there are 27 slots available or no 35 slots available and it, to get your next or 36 spots to get your next two like levels of nine the first level of nine costs 1500 gold the next Jesus. level of nine costs 60,000 wow but I gold, remember being dude, a big deal in Warcraft you get gold in your first bag. Though, gold comes fairly quick. The community, dude, it seemed like it was full of a bunch of little fucking douchebags, and it really annoyed me, and some of the people were just fucking dumb as shit, and uh, the names were pretty fucking gay, and really some of the skill of the players. I don't want to say I'm a, a high-skilled MMO player, but I'm better <laughs> than most, and some of these fucking people, I was like, dude, are you Noobs. fucking kidding me? Dude, don't well. fucking play this. Uh, no PvP until level 20. It's one thing I liked about Warhammer. Level 1, you can jump right in Get and start PvP. Might not be awesome, but yeah, at least but you, you can, can do, still it. do it. Yeah. No PvP until level 20, and it's called the Abyss. Um, you come. There's no need on use as far as like uh, loot goes. So when you're in big groups and you're killing shit and like an item drops that is for your class specific, some idiot barbarian can some go for it. Some fucking faggot can roll on your that shit is and horrid. take it. Horrid. And that at sucks. this point in time in the MMO world, as far as the MMO evolution is gone, there is absolutely no excuse. For, not to have for that. need on use not being implemented, into especially the game. considering the uh, ass hattery of most MMO players. Uh, finally, you're there's not enough like hot bar space on. You can only have two hot bars, so you can only have twenty four like uh, keys visual on your screen. Of course, you can hit shift, you can hit control, and you can use alt whatever. Um, the the big problem is though, if you're like me and you use your mouse and you use your hotkeys. 
they don't lock like the lock the hot bar keys Same. aren't lockable so sometimes you'll like pull them off your fucking hot bar or you'll move them and around that's fucking and annoying. that kind of fucks you up um, my final thoughts if this game came out today would i pay for it absolutely i would pay for it i really is that just to I, like I, it's something your new. It, yeah, it's something new, something different to fill my MMO craving. Um, I would pay for it. I would play it. Uh, me staying with the game definitely hinges on how the PvP aspect is. And that's like the one question that I saw. There was a lot of questions that come out. You actually covered quite a bit. Uh, I think it was Sal uh, who comes from Guild Wars actually said, "Do you see like a meta game?" In, in the PvP from what you played or you something that could PvP. evolve. I didn't really get to see PvP. You got to but duel you do a lot, lot and there were arenas and people can go into the arenas, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how well the PvP is going to be. In dueling, there are a lot of sweet things that happened. Like, you know, if a barbarian, I'm trying to kite a barbarian around and use like a snare trap on the ground to lock him. Like, if he sees the trap, he can like jump up in the air and fly and like bum rush me that way. And like go over my trap to try and cut the yeah, range. So you on are me. flying in combat. Yeah, you can fly in combat. So, so that's pretty cool. Like the flying in combat. Um, I don't know. the The best fun I had during the whole weekend was in that twenty four man group, dude. It was fucking awesome. The only big letdown was is like all the guards and champions like leading up to the boss were way harder and more like epic feeling than the actual sure. boss. And the boss, the boss like fell. Hopefully so that easy, will actually so. change. Uh, there, uh, just another question, um, and I know you didn't really get to. Do you know if the future betas are supposed to be? PvP, people are wondering if you get experience I, with PvP. I think so. The next beta that's coming out, you get to play the evil side, but you only get to play levels 1 through 10, so no PvP aspect on that. Um, I was told today that if you pre-order the game at GameStop, you get a beta key code that allows you and gives you invites to all the future upcoming beta which betas. isn't bad for five bucks even yeah, if you dude, decide so. not to buy the game just for That's five bucks saying, yeah, five to five pay for to like it, yep. every beta and dude it, the way the nc soft works remember they did it with guild wars like how many open betas they did with guild wars yeah, or yeah, yeah shit yeah. like so. that um you got to think that that's not too shabby of a deal. Yeah, so and they haven't have they said it's 14.99, do you know? Yeah, I think it's going to be 14.99. They haven't oh, announced the US or EU release date, but uh I don't know. We'll see. Oh, some they have RVR, PVP, you streamer. Some people are thinking say. uh September we're going to see it hit uh, stateside, so well, I don't know if you guys want to try it out. Definitely, you know, go pre-order it and pick up your beta key from like GameStop or one of those stores. You five know, bucks, you, put you five can bucks get a chance down to try it out yourself. I enjoyed what I played of it. Um, there are definitely things that need to be changed, and like I said, what is really going to hinge for me is the PvP aspect. I play MMOs mm -hmm. for PvP. That's why I played UO, which hands down is the best fucking. PvP MMO experience I have had. And, you know, can I defend this game even though I didn't play it at all? It, just one thing I want to say, just to kind of finalize. I've heard some people say, well, it's going to fail, just like there's one Tabula Rasa and Auto Assault. The thing is, is that this MMO has already done really great in Korea. So even if it fails in the U.S., there's still like a solid support for this game. Right. So it's kind of like, you know, I, I think they're if they can get couple hundred thousand people they'll be completely happy with it you know obviously they'd love millions more but, is more though when you already have right. a huge base all right so uh fun is fine um so all right uh good so you'll be uh, participating in future betas i will, I, I will I make will. sure of that by the way um so uh yeah we'll uh, we'll probably hear more about ion because really in terms of mmos you got Technically, the agency, which I seem to see less and less on all the so time. I still don't think that's an MMO. Dude, I, every time I see it, I feel like they're showing me more CG. And I want to like, try the Global game? Agenda and see what that's all about. So. That's a quasi-MMO, too. Quasi-MMO no, FPS, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Um, I'm telling you, dude, somebody needs to come out with a Wild West MMO. I think that shit would be a home run. I was thinking about it in the car the other day. Oh, like, yeah? classes you could have like gunslinger Time brawler trip. like medic <laughs> then your opposing <laughs> side could be native americans like war chief that's fucking, not racist like, at all that won't, that won't refuel any fucking past hatred dude. don't you think That'd go dope, to custard dude. and give him 10 indian scalps <laughs> exactly 
go into this village, pillage it, and then rape Sacagawea. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, although I would be down for some kind I of I would ammo. fucking love it, dude. All right. So uh, you guys know what we've been doing. Basically, we have uh, started the battle in the sandbox. and we Round two. It's round two now. We started with Infamous last week. It got pretty well, you know, good reception. I liked it. Uh, and then we moved on to uh, Red Faction. And if you guys remember the, what was it, the beta? It wasn't really a beta. It was more like a demo. They had like a, I think if you pre-ordered it, you got into it. And then they released it to everyone. But I knew when I played that game that I was going to be all over this shit. And I got to say, just my overall reactions was... I really had a fuckload of fun with this game and force. It's going to be shocking probably to you and many other people, but you heard the words come out of my mouth. I rented this game and I actually said, I'm going to like, once I'm done with prototype and I've got a little bit further to go on infamous, I'm going to go buy go back Red and Faction buy it. I was blown away. That you said everything, that. everything. So I haven't beat it, but if that's any indication, like, I'm the guy that's like, I don't want to do these 50,000 things before I go to the next story mission. Dude, Red Faction, I couldn't fucking help myself. I'm really blown away that you said that because there were some questionable side missions, but you were all over it, dude. I, and, dude and let me tell so you, much the, the side missions killed it for me, dude. Mm. The, the, fact, really? the thought yeah. that I had to do all the side missions threw me off, and then when I realized you can just pick the ones that you really enjoy like, and really? get the morale up to 100. Right. Oh, it was easy. So we'll... Well, uh, let's start. I, I've got a little bit of footage of the game, uh, so you guys can check that out as well. One thing I want to point out right away is I just find it incredibly funny that I played Alex Mason. They just said his name right there, and now I'm playing Alex Mercer. Alex Mercer in Prototype. That's I, like, I didn't even catch those yeah, connections. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Red Faction Gorilla picks off. Uh, well, it doesn't really pick it's up. It's almost like it's the same it's, world, Mars exactly. fighting for freedom. Right, but a different sort of like, you know... Era or it's definitely not a continuation of part two. I played it and they've got nothing in common with each other. So, you know, basically, dude, your brother gets fucking owned, and that's enough reason for you to be like, I'm yeah, in I'm the red gonna, faction. Enjoy, yeah, your brother does get owned. Yeah, too. he does. He gets he? fucking and owned. And that's not a spoiler because it pretty much happened in the first right right away like, the very beginning. And, and, so. and I think I said that to Force when we were first playing. I'm like, hey, at least they just jumped right into it. I yeah, don't have to watch time. like three hours of fucking prologue before I got in. Um, so, uh, I get into this game and, you know, I don't know, Force, like, how would you describe I, it? I, I want to say that the first stage, you know, the learning stage, was one of the best I've ever played. Because the first time you right away, you're tasked with toppling a building, practicing yes. your mind, toppling a building. The first time you see those buildings crumble and you say, holy shit. Yes. And right away, you start discovering how you can use these destructions to your advantage. It's not just eye candy. We, we, we said the very first stage you play, you've got to demo with this building and then destroy this silo. And, and I went through, blew both of them up. We it's like, this time I think point. you can do that better. Finds out how you can freaking blow up the silo so that it topples into the building, the building and destroys that. So there's all these physics-based movements, and it's not that can destruction like it was in Dude, Battlefield where everything blows up the same. The Geomod is fucking awesome. Amazing. It is so much further Amazing. past part one and two. It's like, dude, why doesn't every fucking game use the Geo? It makes Seriously. all the destruction you see in all these games you go back to now. I'll tell you, it was weird going into Prototype and not being able to destroy shit like you could I've already in Red seen Faction. a few comments from, dude, if Prototype had destructible buildings, it would be the bomb. Bom and and it's, it's just like that... You've had destructible, but you never had this destructible See, before. I enjoyed the destruction, and I enjoy. I think that was awesome. I just thought it got old, dude. It just, dude, it's, you know. But it I did. gotta, it I got, gotta it, ask. I just gotta ask, Kutch, how far did you actually get? Because I played twelve hours. What What ends up happening, and I'm not even all the way through, but I know as you progress on, like. I started getting into like the buildings are like better buildings reinforced. Buildings become huge where you gotta destroy the And whole you series. gotta like yeah. figure out there's a bridge how to you gotta tap on right. one of them oh, that's just God. oh my god I huge. I just took that one down. That bridge was freaking sweet, dude. Yeah. So I mean like I dude but I, I wanna, actually I could see someone saying, fair enough, I could see someone say that it gets old, but you I'm know gonna what, back for me, up Hutch too because it is 
repetitive. There are six or seven side missions, and you do five to eight different versions of those six or seven side missions. Infamous had the exact same thing, where you had your main story modes, but your side missions are basically all the same variances of the six different ones. Here's what's different between Red Faction and Infamous. I got sick of doing the same stock me mission five times. I did not get sick of destroy this building within right. this time limit right. missions. Looked forward to those. You, I did not get sick of the on rail shooters. I looked forward to my next one where I got to jump in the back seat and he just drove me around the world and let me and destroy blow shit. The shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yes. I mean, I enjoyed it. And there, the, someone's wondering, does the game focus on the destruction? Yeah, it does. A lot of your missions are go fucking blow this building up. Go blow this shit up. Go destroy fucking. The shit that the Cause this Earth much Defense damage. Force, the right. EDF, has. Because the premise is from, to move from one area to the next, you need to get your morale up, or the, the morale up to 100%, and you need to get the EDF's influence down, down to, zero. to zero. And you do that through the main quests, and you have to do so many main quests right. in order to move on. Through the sub stories, and then just through destroying. Shit, yeah, destroying dude. the red shit just on the map. Destroying it just whatever. whatever. It lowers the their presence. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. And when you start blowing that shit up, the EDF comes, and there is like a variety of vehicles. They fuck you up, though. Dude, I mean, they do fuck you up. There was a hardcore. good variety of vehicles, and I think what oh threw me off the most was there's so much of a focus on racing in this game, too. Yeah, you yeah. drive... Uh, I mean, this suffered from one of those having to drive from point A to point B. Some of the side missions are, can you get this car to the base within that's, this time? That sucked ass that's if you my lost biggest because complaint. they were perfect. Yeah, that's my time. biggest complaint about the game. It's it really the driving, is. You know? All the driving shit, dude, was fucking annoying to me. And, like, when I'm driving around, then all the sub-quests that kept popping up. Nah. Oh, this courier has a letter. You need to dude, follow him. Dude, that's what I was going to say. If you're ADD, like, this game is not for you because shit's constantly popping up around you. Go do this. Go yeah. help them here. Yeah. Go do this. But to its to its, its defense. It's just building destruction, guys. You don't have to do a lot of the racing missions. Most of them are optional. You don't have yeah. to do them. But, like, if you're one of those guys who wants to do everything, those suck the most ass for me. But yeah. anytime you got I a gun definitely, in your hand, I got to agree shit. with you guys. So, you know, other than that, there, you know, how many different side missions are there? I would say there's probably about seven or eight yeah. different so ones, different yeah. ones. Yeah. And of course, each one is is a type and then they present a different scenario. So even within the missions, they do do a good job of variations. But you can't fucking fake variation with like those driving ones. You know, yeah, it's going to be like driving well, to the safe house, the, drive to the, the safe rescue house. ones. You can't. Really, yeah, you can't. Really they do vary them in the fact that the ones, though, drive the destruction ones change a Dude. lot. But like some of the the the, the save these people because they've been kidnapped. Dude, the save these people become huge like you they walk do. in on raids and they're already trying to take down a city and you right. join in on them right those do get more epic but, as you go along but definitely the most creative has to be the destruction ones. oh yeah when you attach the bombs to the little fuel canisters and had to throw them down the tubes and throwing order to them get, down the tube was now, like, awesome trying to get them to that's land that's fucking sweet one of the things i did like was the amount of weapons and weapon like Upgrading. Yeah, there is upgrading. I like that. I but, a reason. but I felt like, why? Let me carry it all, man. Like, I yeah, mean, you I only have three at a three time. At a yeah, time. And, and and like, I mean, definitely you could create different loadouts for different situations, oh, yeah. right? But at the end of the day, I just found myself leaving more or less with the fucking rocket launcher, yeah. the assault rifle, and my stickies. You know, like yeah. that you was haven't it, even gotten dude. one of the the most badass weapon in the game. Well, as I mean, much fun as you are having, there is going to be even more fun to have when you get the thermo barrack. It's freaking sweet. But I mean, dude, do you agree that it would have been oh, nice if you could have like? And not only that, but you only get three clips of weapon. So they, what they did is they constantly want you to be picking up weapons on the fly as you bang. You guys, yeah. but that's hammering tough. like the sledgehammer is my favorite weapon of all See, of them, now dude. That's one of the things like that oh, I really fuck. liked about the game was my sledgehammer because on some of those like rescue these people like quests, you could sledge you can, right through the wall. Can, well, you can sledge through the wall, but if you didn't want to get found. Like you could sneak up behind them mm -hmm. and, and bash the shit out of them. Smash bash bash them. Them. Dude. And you know, and always a one hit kill, dude. Yeah, it is always, always a one, a one hit and kill. So then they don't alert the other guards because they're not firing weapons or yelling your name. And the news, like in the background, oh, yeah, that's where cool. you can hear the lady like trying to spin the shit. 
right. that you did. Like you can constantly hear in the background. I will like, say, Infamous did their news within the world much better, but it's still neat to see the way that they yeah, did it in Red Faction. Yeah. Um, and then you've got this, guys, uh, which is called Wrecking Crew, where it's basically a pass-the-controller type thing where you basically uh, try different maps, and there's a code online that Force found that opens up, like, five more maps. And, dude, I had just as much fun with they this. They give you a minute. It. You choose the weapon. Who can cause the most destruction? You pass the controller around the living room and try to kick ass. Absolutely. And it was sweet, too, that we can switch our options and, like, remember Dan is yes. murdered. So, yes. Did you guys try any... Multiplayer. I played multiplayer, guys. I did. Most sandbox games don't even come with a multiplayer. Or the they fact just that this suck comes with it is awesome. And seeing what a stage looks like at the beginning, it's just four bases, and you run around shooting each other. But as the walls start to come down and shit, by the end of the stage, the field is just destroyed. Demolished. And the deathmatch evolves over time. It starts as a normal deathmatch, sneaking and finding people. Then it's just running and jetpacking and blowing the shit out of people. So I liked that this multiplayer comes with it, even if you never touched it. The fact that it was there as a bonus to this huge story yep. was awesome. Yep. Um, and I mean, it's not going to be your next freaking Call of Duty, or but it was Halo, still, but yeah. still enjoyable. And, and, you know, we if you remember, we made reference to Bad Company. And you know what? We complained about Bad Company. Yeah, well, it's got cool, destructible environments. It's It was the same thing every time. You now, granted, you end time. up with the same shit every time. Basically, fucking destruction around you. They're all gone. The thing is, is like every single match, it happens differently. Oh, and they Sorry give you about that. They give you power ups and shit during it too. Like, yeah. like a you get like a rhino charge where you can just run super fast for two seconds through anything. So like you're shooting a guy, and he ducks into a building, activate rhino charge, smash the building, continue your chase after him. Oh, there I, were some sweet moments. Let's comment on this one too. Does the multiplayer feel tacked on? Because that's another complaint. And I gotta say that like I'm gonna say yes but in a very positive way it's tacked on because inherently they don't change the fucking gameplay much they just are like okay how about other players the same destructible environments you know like configurable weapons and maps and shit like they did a good job of like taking what you can do you in the single I mean, if player you play game the single player it's and the move it over game. yeah I mean, so you know but they do like they add like i said like there's like four different power packs that you can get throughout the game that there are spins on the multiplayer it's not completely tacked on it's way more enjoyable than freaking bionic commando that was tacked on shit this one is right, at least fun. Right. So, I, I mean, you know what? I'm going to go out on a limb and just say this is the first game in a long time, Sandbox included. Now, remember, I bought Infamous, so it is different. Um, but I rented this one originally just kind of like, well, I'm going to have Prototype 2. And I did enjoy it, but I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going out. I'm buying this game. I fucking think it's totally worth it. It's it's, got, it's like a it's sleeper a nine hit. Like me. I was waiting totally. to it's play a, it. It's a nine for but me. But it blows away so many expectations, and I hope people aren't scared of it because the first two games were ho hum. It's a whole new game, you a whole new red faction. It. I don't know if I would have gone with a nine. I probably would have been in the eights. Probably. See, like I didn't play the multiplayer. Maybe I need to go rerun it and play the multiplayer. No, d I and mean, it, no, it, because got, honestly, I'm just as jizz happy over the single player too. That's like, what. I that's mean, what I dude. love. The fact that the See, single player not, is so sad. So like, dude. It's so, so repetitive so and boring. Oh no, man, dude. there's just there's something because, about. And I'm saying this. I play fucking Warhammer, mm. dude. But you like about other people. There's just something about destroying buildings that never got old for yeah, me. Yeah, see, I, I like did get old for me. I yeah. like killing Plus, people, dude. I don't you, like killing buildings. You have to appreciate the Geo mod, dude. Like, there are not that many video games I, dude, out there. I, no, I, dude, there aren't any I, that have I, gone into this level what of destruction. This game does. I appreciate the Geo mod. I think it's fucking kick ass. I just found like the missions and what you're doing to be I will say incredibly this. repetitive. You will have the same experience you had with Infamous. The first five hours of Infamous kick the ass out of the last five. This is one of those games where when you first play it, it is holy shit awesome. Yes, it gets repetitive yeah. once it loses its new car smell. I gave it a seven. But it's still an awesome, awesome I experience. Get, and maybe if I played the multiplayer, I'd probably So you'd be seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. And, uh, well, you know, I, I just, I, I guess in terms of like, you know, anything else that you could point out about this game that may not be, you know, the, the greatest thing or, or, you know, negatives about it, I've got to say... Uh, so far, without giving my prototype review, 
this game probably has the weakest story of the three. I'll agree with you there. You know, like, at least the other two games feel like they're really padding the action with story. Where, like, I could go for fucking ever. Before seeing a story. Before, like, in going, oh, yeah, what's going on, you know? But, again, like... That whole, like, oh, my God, look at that shit right there. I am going to fuck that shit up. Like, that's how I'm playing that game. Like, I'm going to this mission, but, oh, whoa, what's this base over here? And then fucking oh, it's killing red. everything. Take yeah. it down. Like, that's how I played it. And, uh, dude, I, I, what can I say? I like to blow shit up, and I'm sorry. If you don't fucking appreciate the Geomod, then you just don't understand the technology behind video games because the Geomod is fucking one of the most amazing things I've seen in video games in a long time. Yeah, a 9 is well-deserved from this game for that reason alone because they have technology that everyone else wishes they had and hopefully will license from them because... I'm oh hoping God, that's I their plan. See it again. It makes that going would be back nice. to your other I agree. games tough. I wish the Geo mod was in a lot more games because there are things like I'm doing in other games. Right, because like, if there was massive destruction that was yeah. like perfect for you, like engaging story and like mm -hmm. you know great action, then you know that and that's one of the reasons why this game shines. The it's reason not the why story, I gave it a seven is just not the repetitive. It, it, it it's the Geo mod repetitive for me. And it does. I mean, it got it just like repetitive. Infamous, a sandbox game really, really it's relies on its side game. mission. Well, yeah. and you know what? I would say, guys, if you're doubting this title, do exactly what I did. I went out and I rented it, and I knew before I was even going to return it to the store, I knew that I would eventually own this game. I just knew it. I knew it. I will still play. You know what, Force? Even if anything. Like, you know, the way that we still play Nazi Zombies, dude, I would totally throw in Wrecking Crew and play that a few rounds, The fact dude. that we talked about you get that full-fledged single-player, multiplayer, plus patch the controller around the living room Wrecking Crew makes us a great package. And, you know, what do you feel about, real quick as we wrap up, someone said they sacrificed graphics for the Geomod. I mean, while that is probably fair, do you think that it detracted from the experience? I did not, and I was actually really amazed that they went to the level of detail on the interiors, which you, you usually don't right. even see them. You just right. destroy the shit. But no, you've, Infamous is probably prettier in the, in the grand scheme of things because this is Mars and it's very barren. Um, they, they lose graphically because the world isn't as populated as we see in most places. But you've never seen the level of detail. They had to texture yes. the outside, the, the brick, inside. the rebar. I mean, the fact yeah, that there is so much detail as walls. you knock it down, and it doesn't fall and disappear. There is a crumble of mess <laughs> shit laying at the end. Look, I'm not giving out, good. and I'm not giving out nines because I've had two tall boys. <laughs> yeah, I man, really tall boy. fucking like this game. It's I one of those really... games where it just hit something uh, we've been craving. Exactly. Destruction, now, dude. Exactly. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I, 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 I think Somebody was going to call in tonight. Michael was, because he's got an announcement to make about Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know if, if I. It's like it, it's like five till anyway. It's five till. Um. So that you know, I again, final thoughts. I'm going to buy this game. Must experience I will own it, it guys. Two weeks. Play go. it. It's a blast, especially exactly. coming out during the summer. I just had a ton of fun with it. And I, I mean, honestly, once I started playing this, I'd kind of forgotten about Infamous. Well, and, it's and a rental. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be more interested, Ed, because I know you as a gamer. And I, I even said to Force, I don't think that Ed is capable of playing two sandbox games in a row. So yeah. I'm very interested to hear your thoughts on Prototype. And I'm not giving anything away, but you it's don't get not to what I expected. Oh, you'll get a comment. Uh, she'll get a review, but we'll get to hear your comment. Right, we'll get to hear. And I'm sure I'll, she'll maybe share. I'll call in. She'll share maybe your I'll, thoughts. I'm you sure go. throughout. There you go. So. However, Force doesn't know this yet. I don't think the show's not next week. There is no show next week. Oh, and he doesn't know that the week after next week I'm not here. What? You're not? I'm Are you kidding. serious? Okay. Fuck. I was. I was like. I don't know. I don't know who's going to be more pissed, Dira, because we've got to like. Oh, Dira's pissed. I told Dira, she's like, "Why well, might as well not even do the fucking show? What the fuck?" <laughs> and I was Are like, you dude, serious? He's, he's going to be out of town. What the it's fuck? Split off dude? a week. She's like, she's like, I know he doesn't want me on. I'm, I'm actually what? more. <laughs> I'm actually more pissed that I won't get 
not more Nazi zombies next week. I know, I know, and that's so. exactly what we're going to be jumping. At. Sorry, guys, no open phones. If you want to blame anyone, I felt like we got through the red faction. Hey, if you want to blame anyone, blame Treyarch, dude, because I would say go into open phones, but I want the show to be over right now <laughs> so I can kill some Asian zombies. I cannot wait. So uh, prototype will not be next week. It's going to kind of be the yes. following week. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Blame the reviews. Most of you guys will probably have gone out and rented it or bought it by uh, that time. Be able to disagree or agree we got to crown a winner in the Battle of the Sandbox. Like, we've never had three. And you know what's amazing? Not only have we never had three sandbox titles, we've never had three sandbox titles where I have wanted to play each one, and it has been a day one experience. You used to be kind of anti sandbox, so I'm glad. I think that they're, I think that they're hearing gamers like me and make it like. And I can't wait to talk about prototype. Yeah, when you play prototype, it's like, you know, my favorite part of Grand Theft Auto was going back with the cheat codes, getting unlimited <laughs> ammo in the right. tanks and the helicopters. It was kind of like prototype tapped into that, you know. So it's a different one. It'll it be fun it to is talk different. About. And, you know, like, I mean, a lot of a, uh, one other thing about Red Faction, just because I think a lot of sandbox games don't do this right. And actually, so far, Infamous and Red Faction have done it for oh. the most part. Just like you fail there's, your mission. There's Michael. You don't have to go back, you know. You just restart. You just fucking restart and do it again. God, thank you, dude. I really want Mike to call in real quick. Why? Like, what? What is he gonna say? Dude, he's gonna about Warhammer. He he has been uh, on the test. He's been an invited tester on the test server, so I think he has an announcement about something they're going to be releasing soon. Oh. <laughs> do you think that our audience is gonna be like? They're like, oh, are they going right to be Warcraft subscribers instantly? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's more, I want to hear what the fuck, dude. Oh, you just want to hear it. Yeah. And uh, is it bad if it comes out of your mouth since it's into the show and we can't wait for him to call? It's Warhammer. <laughs> Quick, close the show. Dude. Oh, well, fair. How about, how about. Whatever, dude. I mean, you know what? I'll tell you what. It's a game I play a lot. They always like they always like a little like after the fact thing. So why don't I start the game over song and then I'll let him call in and you guys can have a Warhammer post there show. Is that there cool? Yeah. All Just right. play some awesome. music and you can let it let it and anybody that wants to hear they can Anyone hear. that wants to hear it can stick around. I think it's a, a fair assessment. That way I can also stop the recording and make it two hours so people on YouTube don't go, oh my God, it's two hours. Dude, download our last podcast, two and a half hours. Oh, it's long. Oh, God, long, yeah. What, on broadband these days? It's it like, took it's a lot like, of extra seven seconds. I just seconds. fast forward to the good parts where I speak, but it took forever. I know a Nazi zombie, Dead Snow, right? So, see, Ed needs his own spinoff show, dude. It's time <laughs> hey, to start tomorrow, Weapon of Choice, I, Jordan brother. actually Jordan no, plays with he, us. He Jordan and Sumer are getting called out right now. Tomorrow we want some four-player Nazi zombie, dude. So be ready for it, guys. Make I'm sure down. Get it. I'm fucking down for that. Dude, Real I had to go dude. and get the PS3 Call of Duty just so I could play with he you. He rented bitches. it. See, all you guys that say is a PS3 hater. He was dude, like... Dude, yeah, some bitches actually said I all I do is bash the PS3. Let me tell you, when the PS3 comes out with its exclusive game once every six months, I'm all on its jock. But I mean, in between, then what else can you do? But that? It's not doing anything else. Wait for but the gathering talk. dust, I waiting for the wait. next exclusive. I can't wait. All right, guys. Uh, so anyone that's interested in the special announcement and the this, we'll, we'll just call this the Weapon of Choice After Show. How about that? Uh, and you it can, won't be long. You can stick short. around. Uh, otherwise, catch our VODs and other shows on DJWeek.tv this Sunday. We've got live on three with the new Frag Dolls. Sorry, Ed, and Who devastation are they, event. You know? G.I. Joe's girlfriend. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Miss Vixen. And she's going to be on the uh, yeah. live on three. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to call in and be like, what really makes you qualify? Yeah. To be a what makes doll? her qualify? What makes you better than? That's <laughs> that's going to be. <laughs> yes. Stuff all Deborah's quality. Live on three is now Sundays. Also, yes, call and brawl Sunday. Uh, they take place pretty much back to back. So make sure to check that out. That's Sunday on DJOE.TV. And uh, next week is going to be devastation. So when you tune in for Epileptic Gaming next week, you're probably going to see some fucking elite motherfuckers playing Soul Calibur 4, Tekken 6, Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter Third Strike, HD Remix, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Smash Brothers, Guilty Gear, Accent Court, XX, fucking any of those dude, games. I was going to tune out until you said Smash Brothers and Guilty Gear, XXX, Hardcore, 
whatever edition. Actually, we're probably going to be doing more Tekken 6 and Street Fighter 4 and Third Strike and maybe Marvel vs. Capcom. Maybe Soul Calibur. Marvel vs. Capcom's added? Two. Really? Yeah, dude. Is it just all fighting games? It's all fighting games. It's going to take place right on DJWeat.tv. It's going to be fucking awesome. I cannot, cannot wait. That is going to be next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm not fucking drunk, you guys. I don't drink a fucking... In fact, I spilled half my beer before the show started. (laughs) He didn't get a chance to get drunk. All right. Um, any final words? Are you just ready? Ghostbusters 2 next week. (laughs) He's not excited. I'm excited. I'm just weary. Big Surf Island. I'm weary. Prototype. Nazi zombies. I won't be lonely. I'm ready for Nazi zombies, guys. All right. Any any final words? Is he going to call? I don't know. All right. We'll see. All right, guys. uh, I'm going to have a nice guy, Ed Force, and myself, DJ Wheat. More epileptic gaming. Not next week, the week after. But tune in to our devastation coverage next Friday. It'll be here when you guys come thinking the EG's on. And then you're going to be like, oh, this sucks. And then you're going to be like, oh, my God, this guy's fucking awesome at Marvel vs. Cowboy 2. And then, holy shit. And then you're going to watch the whole weekend. And I will have sucked you in. With that being said, peace. Peace, guys.